One, happiness most often arises from positive relationships with other people. Two, the roots of true achievement lie in the will to become the best that you can become. Three, guilt is anger directed at ourselves, at what we did or did not do. Resentment is anger directed at others, at what they did or did not do. Four, nobody grows old by merely living a number of years. People grow old by deserting their ideals. Five, children should know how to manage pocket money and make the most of it. Six, scientists have discovered that mobile flowers are visited more often by pollinating insects than their more static counterparts. Seven. A good teacher must be able to put himself in the place of those who find learning hard. Eight. During the job interview, the interviewer asked the applicant a slightly personal question out of mere curiosity. Nine. Parents' instincts tell them when their children would love a cuddle and some interaction. Ten. The English consider arts and sports in school an important part of education as well as math. Eleven, a good book can get you motivated to make a big difference in your life. Twelve, politeness makes you enjoyable to be around, and so gives you an enduring edge over those who never acquired it. Thirteen. Anything that contributes to stress during mealtime can interfere with the digestion of food. Fourteen, there are many reasons why all people, young and old, should do volunteer work. It can provide a healthy boost to your self-confidence, self-esteem, and life satisfaction. Fifteen. Sleep in a well-ventilated room with a temperature low enough to keep your body cool. Temperatures that are too warm interfere with normal, restful sleep. Sixteen, younger people learning a foreign language typically achieve fluency more easily than older learners, but there are many successful adult learners learning a language through conscious effort. Seventeen. One of the most common problems associated with overuse of a computer is eye strain, a common and annoying condition including tired, itching, and burning eyes. Eighteen, the ability to go from one failure to another without losing enthusiasm will bring you success. Nineteen, there are numerous explanations for the fall of the Roman Empire. But the deeper cause lies in the declining fertility of its soil and the decrease in agricultural yields. Twenty, the fact that information is conveyed in a high-tech manner somehow adds authority to what is conveyed, when in fact the internet is a global conveyor of unfiltered, unedited, untreated information. Twenty-one, to live is to suffer. To survive is to find some meaning in the suffering. Twenty-two, babies enjoy cuddling on a caregiver's lap and looking at colorful picture books. Twenty-three, in today's world, parenting is about letting your child develop into his or her own person, not about trying to stamp him or her into a mold of conformity. Twenty-four. The greatest challenge we have as we become successful is never to rest on our success, never to feel like we've done it. The moment you feel like you've done it, that's the beginning of the end. Twenty-five. Once we have made a choice or taken a stand, we will encounter personal and interpersonal pressures to behave according to that commitment. Twenty-six. Researchers have found evidence in brain scans 
indicating that psychological trauma physically affects the brain. 27. We hope that stem cell research and technology will help us to cure or prevent many of the illnesses that kill millions today. 28. Scientists should remain committed to constant improvement and transparency for the benefit of sound, rigorous science. 29. Sunglasses keep our eyes protected from strong sunlight, particularly UV rays, so they are a must-have accessory for maintaining healthy vision. 30. Don't lower your expectations to meet your performance. Raise your level of performance to meet your expectations. 31. All forms of life are closely related to each other, nourishing and protecting each other. 32. Faced with a problem you do not understand, do any part of it you do understand, and then go back to it later. 33. The mind has great influence over the body, and diseases often have their origin there. 34. I disapprove of what you say, but I will defend to the death your right to say it. 35. Defensive pessimism, a strategy of imagining the worst-case scenario of any situation, can be useful, for indulging in negative thoughts actually helps people go on to do their best by preparing for the worst. 36. What is true today may not be true tomorrow, and what is accepted in our society may not be accepted in other societies. 37. It is not clear if the information was stolen or deliberately leaked to the press. 38. To apologize sincerely, we must first listen attentively to how the other person really feels about what happened, not simply assert what we think happened. 39. The important idea we should fix firmly in mind is that our self-image is formed by our beliefs, not simply by our past experiences. 40. Teenagers should be aware of the fact that endurance is an essential ingredient contributing to anyone's success. 41. During the early 1980s, a team of Italian scientists found that people seem to have one foot that is more ticklish than the other. And for most people, it is the right. 42. A smile is an intangible gift with which God endowed us, so that we can lead a good and beautiful life. 43. Today's students will make the world a better place, where honest and conscientious people prevail, and where they are safer and treated with dignity. 44. The best moments usually occur when a person's body or mind is stretched to its limits in a voluntary effort to accomplish something difficult and worthwhile. 45. Remember not to write every word, as this might interfere with your complete understanding of the speaker. 46. If you want to make your dreams come true, the first thing you have to do is wake up. 47. Although the world is full of suffering, it is full also of the overcoming of it. 48. Just as one gesture can have many different meanings, so many different gestures can have the same meaning. 49. Whenever he gave a speech in class, he became so nervous that his legs trembled and he often forgot parts of his speech. 50. How to use our brain efficiently and positively we really should learn. 51. Only when your consciousness is totally focused on the moment you are in can you receive whatever gift, lesson, 
or delight that moment has to offer. 52. If nature is defined as a landscape uninfluenced by humankind, then there is no nature on the planet at all. 53. My political ideal is democracy. Everyone should be respected as an individual, but no one idolized. 54. Taking part in a sports class should be a matter of free choice for the students, although encouraged by the school. 55. The idea behind time zones is that we can divide the world into 24 equal slices or zones, 15 degrees each. And adjust the clocks accordingly for each zone. 56. Many scientists believe that clues to much of Earth's origins, as well as many other answers to life on our planet and others, may lie within the unexplored ocean depths. 57. Positive thinking has, as an important part of our life, two great advantages the bringing of success. And the realizing of dreams. 58. It is important to expect nothing, to take every experience, including the negative ones, as merely steps on the path, and to proceed. 59. We need to make it a rule of life never to regret anything. It's just a waste of time. 60. Success is neither magical nor mysterious. Success is the natural consequence of consistently applying the basic fundamentals. 61. To accomplish great things, we must not only act, but also dream. Not only plan, but also believe. 62. The effects of color blindness are so mild. That many boys only realize that they have it at a relatively late age. 63. There is an inseparable relation between diligence and success. The former is the cause, and the latter is the effect. 64. There are only two ways to live your life. One is as though nothing is a miracle, the other is as though everything is a miracle. 65. We abuse land because we regard it as a commodity belonging to us. When we see land as a community to which we belong, we may begin to use it with love and respect. 66. If you let your fear of consequence prevent you from following your deepest instinct, your life will be safe, expedient, and thin. 67. The best reason for acquiring a large vocabulary is that it keeps you from being long winded. The more meaning you can pack into a single word, the fewer words are needed to get the idea across. 68. We pay a price when we deprive children of the exposure to the values, principles, and education they need to make them good citizens. 69. Public holidays are an excellent time to remind ourselves of who we are, where we come from, and what sort of vision we want for our future. 70. Costa Rica was discovered in 1502 and named by Christopher Columbus, who thought it might be a land rich in gold. 71. The majority of advertising uses female models whose features do not correspond to many women's bodies, which can create false expectations in society at large. 72. Over 4,000 chemical compounds are created by burning a cigarette, many of which are toxic and can cause cancer. 73. The world's smallest state. The Vatican has a population of about 1,000, some of whom are not permanent residents. 74. Some earthquakes are produced before or during volcanic activity, 
when rock is moving to fill in spaces where magma is no longer present. 75. Our ability to entertain new ideas is particularly important in today's world, where uncertainty is the name of the game. 76. Members of a group tend to avoid promoting viewpoints outside the comfort zone of consensus thinking, which may cause them to ignore individual doubts for fear of upsetting the group's balance. 77. In Chinese food, the idea is that food should be boiling hot because that is crucial to its flavor, embodied in the phrase wok hei, which means the breath or essence of the combination of tastes added by a hot wok. 78. Alfred Nobel, the inventor of dynamite, died childless in 1896 and dedicated his vast fortune to creating the Nobel Prizes. 79. Most teachers are of the opinion that children learn through interaction, by listening to others and discussing ideas with them. 80. To justify the time and effort needed to fully understand a work of literature in a foreign language, there must be some special incentives involved, enjoyment, suspense, or fresh insights into important matters. 81. The Harry Potter books, written by author J.K. Rowling, are loved by millions of readers from the very young to the very old. 82. Anxiety, which is an overly zealous mental preparation for an anticipated threat, is disastrous cognitive interference when it captures all your attention and intrudes on all other attempts to focus elsewhere. 83. Over half of all farming households in Poland produce just enough food for themselves and commercial sales, if any, are few. 84. Although whales are aquatic creatures, they are mammals. In other words, they feed milk to their young and are also warm-blooded. 85. Creating wealth depends on diligence and thrift. That is, wasting neither time nor money, but making the best use of both. 86. The man who doesn't read good books has no advantage over the man who can't read them. 87. It is widely believed that the impact of a giant meteorite caused a mass extinction of life that included the dinosaurs 65 million years ago. 88. The ancient Greeks believed that all beauty could be explained with math and used a system to find what they called the golden ratio. 89. Doctors are starting to find more and more information that suggests a connection between exercise and brain development. 90. The poor listener thinks he has done his duty when he has said his piece to the best of his ability. But the good listener is as keen on his work after he has spoken as while he was speaking. 91. Dwelling on past disappointments can change our future, but only to make it worse. 92. Considering how I can make the world a better place for another person shows my love for others and pulls me out of myself. Lifting my thoughts to a grander place. 93. Reading speed is important, but being able to think straight about what you read is far more valuable. 94. Unlike most species, man did not hesitate to learn from other creatures and copy their ways. Imitating what to eat and how to get food was the way he multiplied his own chances of survival. 95. After a stressful day, relaxing in a comfortable chair, putting on some soothing sounds, and reading something light and entertaining are all good methods to get ready for some restful sleep. 96. 
To imagine that the Arab world is a giant desert with cities and villages scattered randomly throughout would be like saying that the United States is made up of country towns run by cowboys. 97. To have faith in the possibility of love as a social and not only exceptional individual phenomenon is a rational faith based on the insight into the very nature of man. 98. To improve your reading proficiency, learning to consider the subject of the reading material and make guesses about the context is essential. 99. A good education includes not only what you gain from books and lessons in a classroom, but also what you acquire by actually doing a thing, such as riding a bike. 100. However, because it would be impossible for you to discover huge stores of historical or scientific evidence firsthand, studying in high school and college, to a great extent, depends on reading books and other documents. 101. In the meantime, your life rolls along and you accumulate many experiences. 102. It helps to interrelate what you learn from books, your lessons at school, and your personal experiences. 103. Integrating everyday parts of your life with what you learn from books and school lessons makes your education richer and more meaningful. 104. What may be normal behavior in one culture may seem inappropriate or even rude in another. 105. That vegetarians have trouble getting adequate protein is one of the biggest misconceptions. 106. Whether euthanasia will be legalized or not is a thorny issue. A right to live a dignified life or a crime that violates the constitutional law? 107. What lies behind us and what lies before us are tiny matters compared with what lies within us. 108. As someday is a disease that will take your dreams to the grave with you, whatever you consider important to you and you want to do eventually is worth doing. So just do it and correct course along the way. 109. Why thick seed coats are often essential for seeds to survive in a natural environment is due to the fact that the seeds of many wild plants remain dormant for months until winter is over and rain sets in. 110. The central controversy of the presidential election of 1860, one of the most important elections in American history, was associated with slavery. Who would be given the power to change history was in the hands of the voters. 111. What distinguishes humans from animals is that the former make tools, and as civilization progresses, these tools gradually turn into machines. 112. With all things prepared, when construction of the new housing area will begin depends on when the company reaches an agreement with community residents. 113. When an IQ test is scored, how the test taker's score compares to the standard deviation or average scores of all test takers is the main focus. 114. When a child takes the test, his or her results are compared with the results of tests taken by other children of the same age. 115. An adult's test results, on the other hand, are compared with the results of all other adults, not just adults of the same age. 116. It used to be said that one's IQ was fixed for life from the age of five. Now, however, discoveries in neuroscience show that the human brain is a work in progress, and we can continue to improve our IQ even into old age. 117. Being a human, not always have I done the right thing, nor am I completely proud of every decision I have made, but I've learned from my mistakes and endeavor to improve. 118. 
Rarely do meteors blaze for more than a few seconds once they enter the Earth's atmosphere. 119. Only after people have become parents themselves do they realize how indebted they are to their own parents. 120. Behind a seemingly effortless performance of professional music and theater are years of hard work and training. 121. More obvious is the fact that people who spend their lives watching television do not read as much as they ought to. 122. There exists a peculiar correlation between what is in front of our eyes and the thoughts we are able to have in our heads. Large thoughts at times requiring large views, new thoughts, new places. 123. Only when they are confronted with solid experimental evidence, or when a conceptually simpler hypothesis forces them to a new point of view, do scientists change their scientific theories. 124. Hidden in the heart of modern Turkey lie the scattered ruins of a long-forgotten civilization, the Hittite Empire. 125. Objective description is an attempt to tell only the bare facts about a subject. 126. It tries to describe things as they are, without any interference from the writer's personal perceptions or feelings. 127. Impressionistic description, on the other hand, emphasizes the writer's perceptions and feelings. 128. Yet, although the primary purpose of impressionistic description is to show what the writer thinks and feels, writers often fail in this purpose because they don't clearly examine or understand their own emotional responses to the subject. 129. Only when writers examine and acknowledge their true responses and feelings can they convey those impressions to their readers. 130. Wise men and women in every major culture throughout history have found that the secret to happiness is not in getting more, but in wanting less. 131. The number of foreigners interested in the Korean language has increased dramatically over the past few years because of the success of Korean firms overseas and growing interest in Korean culture. 132. Places as unique and diverse as the wilds of East Africa's Serengeti, the pyramids of Egypt, and the Great Barrier Reef in Australia make up our world's heritage. 133. The public's dissatisfaction with the public school system has led to an increase in the number of children being educated at home. 134. The crucial factor in choosing literary works for foreign language learning is not just to select the appropriate level of language, but to find works that stimulate the reader's involvement. 135. A clear understanding of what your purpose is in life leads you to do whatever is necessary to achieve it. 136. The idea of achieving security through national armament is, at the present state of military technique, a disastrous illusion. 137. Feelings and judgments about how others feel toward you play a major role in how you choose to solve your day-to-day -day problems. 138. One major difference between people with a low level of self-respect and those with a high level is the type of memories they choose to recall. 139. In many parts of the world, speakers in bilingual communities have abandoned their native language in favor of their second language which often results in the death of the native language as an effective means of communication. 140. This process of language death is a worldwide phenomenon affecting different types of communities. 141. In some cases, native peoples abandon their native language after being subjected to invasion, 
conquest, and subsequent control by an overwhelming power. 142. For example, many Native American societies throughout North and South America have stopped speaking their own languages and have replaced them with the dominant national language in their countries. 143. There are many valid reasons for wanting to unify a country or region under one dominant language, including ease of communication and strengthened group identity. 144. Replacement of native languages by dominant languages is usually a gradual process, but once replacement is complete, the native language disappears from the human scene, the classic case of language death. 145. The prime factor to be considered in education is the child and his present nature as a child, as nature wants children to be children before they are men. 146. One way to help keep life's slings and arrows from knocking you off course is to ensure your life is multidimensional, and that way, a setback in any one area won't mean in your mind that you're a failure categorically. 147. In a natural night sky, someone looking at the heavens with the unaided eye should be able to see nearly 3,500 stars and planets and the glow from the Milky Way, our home galaxy. 148. Fitness programs based on walking or jogging have the same beneficial health effects as machine-based exercise regimens do. 149. Since the human body is basically an extremely complex system of interacting molecules, the technology required to truly understand and repair the body is molecular machine technology. 150. The opportunity to secure ourselves against defeat lies in our own hands, but the opportunity of defeating the enemy is provided by the enemy himself. 151. The members of a herd of cattle or a school of fish seeking to minimize the opportunities for predators will gather themselves into a circular group to minimize the surface that the predator can attack. 152. Huge quantities of carbon dioxide, methane, and CFCs dumped in the atmosphere have trapped heat and raised global temperatures. 153. Consumer innovators rarely work alone, but they thrive in communities that freely share open-source designs. 154. John Dobson, for example, never patented the cheap digital telescope he created, paving the way for a renaissance in amateur astronomy. 155. Organizations built on knowledgeable and committed communities of users often find that good ideas come from the membership base who will also provide rapid feedback on whether a new service will work. 156. For innovation to be less challenging, the link connecting the company and the community, the producer and the user, should be tighter. 157. If companies want to engage their consumers as innovators, they too will have to open up so their consumers can freely share ideas and modify their products. 158. The topics that people find amusing and the occasions that are regarded as appropriate for joking can vary enormously from one society to the next. 159. In India, sleeping habits which contribute to the spread of malaria include not using mosquito nets or any protective device, outdoor sleeping, and children sharing a bed. 160. Those who regularly keep a journal or some kind of written record pertaining to their aspirations are more likely to feel that they are making progress in their lives. 161. Teams in the workplace that are composed of people with different personalities are more productive than teams composed of more similar individuals. 
162. All of the women whom I have interviewed, whose mothers worked, knew that they too would work when they had children. 163. Those moments when you took a leap of faith and expanded beyond your comfort zone are precious gifts, as they can remind you of the joy that is available to you when you live life with enthusiasm. 164. The best equipment a young man can have for the battle of life is a conscience, common sense, and good health. 165. The main reason eggs crack when they're in boiling water is the difference between the temperatures of the hot water and the cool egg. 166. Many who have experienced a major loss often go on to achieve remarkable feats in spite of their hardships. Because they focus on what they can gain from their circumstance rather than on what they have lost. 167. For your success and happiness, the most important contribution you can make is to develop the habit of continuous goal setting. 168. Political stability has an influence on international forms of tourism. 169. One prime reason international tourism in Europe has developed so strongly since 1945 has been the almost total absence of major political and military conflict in the region since the end of the Second World War. 170. The one significant divide that did arise from that war, the division between a largely communist Eastern Europe and a capitalist West, actually produced a clear boundary in the geography of tourism. 171. There was rapid development in the West and relatively little international travel in the East. 172. As soon as communist control of East European states began to collapse, tourism both to and from these areas followed. 173. Is it socially desirable or acceptable to change certain genes of a normal human individual? To alter or enhance traits. 174. Millions buy a lottery ticket and imagine what it would be like for their money problems to be over once and for all. 175. It would be all wrong for a scientist to get emotional when describing a daffodil, and it would be all wrong for a poet not to. 176. For adults, it may be difficult learning not to interfere with, but rather to support a child's desire for freedom and autonomy. 177. It is paradoxical that many educators and parents still differentiate between a time for learning and a time for play without seeing the vital connection between them. 178. When we are under stress, it's important whether we reach for the bag of potato chips or go for a swim or a jog. 179. It cannot be denied that we owe many useful things to science, but it is doubtful whether more science will give us true happiness. 180. On the train of life, which keeps proceeding incessantly, If the train is not heading where you want to go, it matters little how fast it is going. 181. It can be argued that the clock was the first truly automatic machine that attained any importance in human life. 182. It is a fundamental mistake to imagine that when we see the non value in a value, or the untruth in a truth, The value or the truth ceases to exist. It has only become relative. 183. Philosophers have long challenged the assumptions of common sense realism, the theory that the world is perceived exactly as it is, and tried to come up with more robust pictures of reality. 184. They argue, for instance, That the senses are easily fooled. For example, a fast spinning wheel can look stationary.
Moreover, they question how we can be certain that the waking world is any more real than the fantasy world created in our dreams. 185. It's a difficult problem which philosophers have yet to resolve. However, for everyday practical life, it makes sense to go with the common sense view. 186. In fact, I live as if the evidence of my experience and my sense is true, and I find it almost impossible to think and live any other way, because that's the way my mind works. 187. The invention of the microscope made it possible for scientists to learn more about what causes diseases. 188. If you don't relate what you know to what you read, you may find it difficult to understand what you read. 189. Traditionally, Jews made it a rule not to name a newborn child after a living person in case untimely transmission of the name soul should bring death to the elder. 190. You may find it worth considering negotiating with your company to find the ideal balance between work and personal time. 191. In our country, workers took it for granted that they would remain with one company until they reached retirement age. 192. Market forces will see to it that employers pay a reasonable salary, not a minimum wage. 193. The argument has it that schools are not merely teaching places, but also institutions in which character is built. 194. We owe it to ourselves and to the next generation to conserve the environment so that we can bequeath our children a sustainable world that benefits all. 195. The power of the mental game came to public awareness in the 1970s through the revelations of some of the nation's most notable sports figures. 196. Golfer Jack Nicklaus, for example, let it be known that he never hit a shot without first clearly visualizing the ball's perfect flight and its triumphant destination, sitting up there high and white and pretty on the green. 197. A successful shot, Nicholas told us, was 50% visualization, 40% setup, and only 10% swing. 198. Professional football players described imagining each of their plays again and again the night before a game. They found it natural that their success on the field the next day was closely related to the vividness of their mental practice. 199. More than any other development, it has been the exceptionally rapid growth of computer technology that has changed every aspect of our lives. 200. It is generally the idle who complain they cannot find time to do what they wish to do. In truth, people can generally find time enough for their work. It is not the time, but the will that is wanting. 201. It was patterns in the organized and regular motions of stars and other celestial objects that ancient humans tried to recognize, just as present-day scientists search for patterns and trends in natural phenomena. 202. It was not until the mid-18th century in England that agricultural improvements made it possible for more food to be grown to meet the demands of a growing population. 203. Thomas Edison was looked upon as a fool by his teachers, and it was only because his mother inspired him to believe that one day he would do something fine and great that he became the man he was. 204. Was it the evolution of life on Earth that marked the first instance of life anywhere in our universe? Or could it have developed on other planets long before? 205. What is it that motivates us to get up every morning and do the job we have chosen for a career? 
206. A glance at the map is sufficient to explain how it was that Greece became civilized before the other European lands. 207. It is only the rise of technology and not the rise of modern political ideas which has refuted the old and terrible idea that only violence and rule over others could make some men free. 208. It is the trees that draw the most moisture and nutrients from the air that maximize their surface area with large leaves. 209. In most Western cultures, messages usually concern ideas presented in a logical, linear sequence. 210. The speaker tries to say what is meant through precise wording, and the content of the language. Is more objective than personal. 211. This communication style is termed low context because the actual words are more important than who is receiving the message, how the words are said, or the nonverbal actions that accompany them. 212. On the other hand, in cultures with an opposing communication style, It is in the context, not in the words, that most of the meaning of a message is found. 213. The content of the language is more personal than objective, dependent on the relationship between speaker and listener. 214. Attitudes and feelings are more important in the conversation than thoughts. 215. To watch a play is to step into a world that seems far removed from electronic beeping and ringing. 216. Being able to forgive, to let go of angry thoughts and feelings, promotes the body's natural ability to return from an aroused state to a normal state. 217. Resilience is accepting your new reality. Even if it's less good than the one you had before, you can fight it, you can do nothing but scream about what you've lost, or you can accept that and try to put together something that's good. 218. By continuously investing in ourselves, we expect to become more productive and to gain a higher income and better professional opportunities. 219. To stop being late, all one has to do is change the motivation by deciding that, in all circumstances, being on time is going to have first priority over any other consideration. 220. Happy is the person who knows what to remember of the past, what to enjoy in the present, and what to plan for in the future. 221. We spend a lot of time in teaching children how to read, less in teaching them how to speak, and hardly any in teaching them how to listen. But the importance of these skills in business is essentially reversed. 222. The past few years have seen a lot of debate about how to spread democracy, but almost none about how to keep it alive in places where it is under attack. 223. Making the decision on whether or not to study abroad should be taken with care. 224. When a client seeks information regarding the direction he or she should take, like what choice to make or what approach to use, there is ever present a strong temptation on the counselor's part to tell him or her what to do. Particularly if the counselor feels that she or he knows the best answer to the client's problems. 225. Proceeding with the consultation like this generally should be avoided, however, as the client will gain strength if allowed to make his or her own judgments. 226. Certainly, one of the most important goals of counseling is to enable clients to make better decisions. And part of this process may require that the counselor become an active agent in the decision making process. 
but to answer a client's decision-oriented question with a specific answer diminishes significantly the possibility that the client will grow enough to make decisions. 228. The counselor's objective is to aid the client in taking the initiative in making his or her own decisions, not to give direct answers. 229. We need more effective ways to ensure that every citizen can fully exercise the right to secure private information. 230. The scents of plants or fruits can serve various purposes. Lavender can fill you with feelings of tranquility, and peppermint is one of the best scents to improve concentration and memory. 231. If you are unsure of what you want to accomplish, it can be easy to fall into the trap of pursuing the goals of others, which can interfere with your effort to make smart decisions and accomplish what you want in life. 232. Some cultures maintain an implicit schedule for the right time to do many important things. For example, the right time to start dating, to finish college, to buy your own home, or to have a child. 233. The modern notion of equality is based on a rather complex idea. All of us, across class, gender, or cultural difference, have in principle the capacity to reflect upon our own thoughts and actions and to guide and determine our own lives. 234. The ability to maintain some flexibility in both your ideas and your habits will decrease your inclination to disagree and increase your ability to compromise and move toward a solution. 235. God, give us grace to accept with serenity the things that cannot be changed, courage to change the things that should be changed, and the wisdom to distinguish the one from the other. 236. Age appears to be best in four things. Old wood best to burn, old wine to drink, old friends to trust, and old authors to read. 237. At the center of Niccolò Machiavelli's political philosophy is the Renaissance idea of viewing human society in human terms. 238. To achieve this, his starting point is an analysis of human nature based on his observations of human behavior throughout history, which brings him to the conclusion that the majority of people are by nature selfish, short-sighted, fickle, and easily deceived. 239. However, the original fundamental character of human nature, with its complete lack of virtue, can be turned to the common good, such as the tendency to imitate rather than think as individuals, which, Machiavelli notes, leads people to follow a leader's example and act cooperatively. 240. Likewise, qualities such as selfishness, manifested in the human desire for personal gain and ambition, can be a powerful driving force if channeled correctly, and are especially useful personal qualities in a ruler. 241. Knowledge gained through workplace experience is far more important than grades earned in school in predicting the job performance of new employees. 242. English is the first or official language of 45 countries covering one-fifth of the Earth's land surface. 243. Reading is an incredibly complex psycholinguistic activity involving not only phonemic awareness and alphabet recognition, but also comprehension in all its facets, reading between the lines, inferring meaning, and detecting the author's bias. 244. The amount of energy used to cool America may be equal to all the energy consumed in China today. 245. Since the 1960s, animal rights organizations around the world 
have tried to make people aware of the cruelty affecting animals used for laboratory research. 246. In an interactive real time strategy video game set in the 26th century, in a universe inspired by science fiction novels and movies, hundreds of thousands of players spend up to 80 hours a week fighting interspecies battles for dominance and survival. 247. We keep moving forward, opening new doors and doing new things because we're curious and curiosity keeps leading us down new paths. 248. Despite the best efforts of scientists and philosophers, the structure of space-time remains hidden to us even today. 249. The sense of sight is so highly developed in humans that messages received from other senses are often ignored if they conflict with what is seen. 250. By its domination of the time families spend together, a television destroys the special quality distinguishing one family's rituals, games, recurrent jokes, familiar songs, and shared activities from another's. 251. Bluebird syndrome is the name given to the experience of being unable or unwilling to adjust to changes in one's workplace or community. 252. The name comes from the play The Blue Bird, which was written more than 100 years ago by the Belgian playwright and poet Maurice Metterlink. 253. Metterlink believed that people are powerless against the forces of fate, and this belief is reflected by the characters in his play. 254. People with Bluebird Syndrome are not satisfied with their life and may dream about a splendid future waiting for them, but do not put any effort into trying to create that future. 255. There is no denying that society is changing so fast, yet the basic rules of the world remain the same. 256. I cannot help fearing that men may reach a point where they look on every new theory as a danger, every innovation as a toilsome trouble, every social advance as a first step toward revolution, and that they may absolutely refuse to move at all. 257. Psychologists tell us that it's perfectly natural to feel like running away from our responsibilities once in a while. 258. In deciding on your future career, it is no use concentrating on those areas in which you have achieved your best scores unless you are interested in them. 259. It goes without saying that preparation is the key to any negotiation, and it is no surprise to find that the most successful negotiators prepare more than unsuccessful negotiators. 260. By focusing on remedies and solutions to the problems that arise, you can keep your attention on what you can do in any situation instead of on what you can't. 261. On being able to see, infants recognize faces, and it might be possible that this skill is hardwired in our brains. 262. When you stand on a bathroom scale, the scale measures just how much upward force it must exert on you in order to keep you from moving downward toward the Earth's center. 263. People with a low level of self-respect usually think over negative experiences, while people with a high level spend their time in recalling and enjoying positive memories. 264. If you were slow-witted, you would have little or no difficulty in making a decision, for you wouldn't be able to think of a variety of possible consequences. 265. It goes without saying that any estimate of a modern novel is valueless unless it is based on knowledge of the great works of the past. But at the same time, 
it is no use estimating the great works of the past unless it is based on knowledge of the novels of the present. 266. In fact, all literary work, both of the past and of today, exists as if it were in an eternal present. 267. We speak of the tradition of the novel, but tradition is not a dead thing. The classics are not just so many books behind the glass of a Victorian bookcase. 268. Tradition is a living force that changes as it takes in more and more works of the present. 269. When it is dry, the cactus contracts like an accordion to minimize the surface area exposed to the sun and retain as much water as possible. 270. For students to be truly successful in today's challenging global economy, higher education must recognize and emphasize that practical and liberal education are tightly coupled and that students' academic, developmental, interpersonal, and experiential lives are entwined. 271. When we learn to say no to what we don't feel like doing in order to say yes to our true self, we feel empowered and our relationships with others improve. 272. Children need many opportunities to freely express and represent their ideas without fear of evaluation, ridicule, or comparison in order for them to be creative. 273. Every adult should engage in half an hour of moderate physical activity at least five days per week so as to remain active and healthy according to national health guidelines. 274. We hope our children will learn to behave morally and ethically and grow up to be honest and considerate. 275. Every year, millions of young people finish school feeling full of confidence and arrive in the workplace only to find out how much they don't know. 276. I have seen people who are very good at their jobs but are poor at presenting themselves, never to convince the audience of their capabilities. 277. I have never been surprised to find men wicked, but I have often been surprised to find them not ashamed. 278. Our species is so careless and indifferent not only to forego action regarding the obvious environmental threats we face, but to ignore them altogether. 279. The advocates of the free market economy argue that to be left to itself, unhindered by state intervention, the market will deliver the maximum good to society. 280. We often forget that the main purpose of criticizing is not to be negative, but to be constructive, to fix something. 281. But general criticism is destructive, and it doesn't lead anyone to know how to fix things. It just makes people feel bad. 282. We all have different verbal and visual styles and conceive different ways to say the same thing. So unless you can explain specifically, you haven't started fixing anything. 283. To help the criticized person know how to fix what you object to, define exactly what went wrong and why it is unsatisfactory. 284. Specific examples for improvement, as well as specific descriptions of exactly what you mean, are a must. 285. Some books on science are often too obscure or too specialized to do the general reader much good. 286. Many people find the hospital system too impersonal to help them cope with the trauma of finding out that they or a relative has cancer. 287. People of genius are too much superior to those about them to be quickly understood, and their books, music, statues, or pictures 
are usually too superior to be quickly appreciated. 288. The East Asian rainy season ends when the warm air mass associated with the subtropical ridge is strong enough to push the front north and away. 289. You must somehow be exposed to reading early enough in life to have it become a part of your daily routine, like washing your face or breathing. 290. Volunteers are so vital a part of the nation's economy, social atmosphere, and overall well being as to relieve a huge burden from the public sector and promote a mood of cooperation in the community. 291. Only in the last few decades, primarily in the industrially developed economies, has food become so plentiful and easy to obtain as to cause fat related health problems. 292. If a little knowledge is dangerous, where is the man who has so much as to be out of danger? 293. Masks are too heavy to uphold indefinitely, and no matter how well you believe you are disguising yourself, others always know. 294. The reluctance of the Chinese to perform surgery is completely understandable in light of their views about harmony and relationships. 295. Health was dependent on the balance of forces in the body and the relationships between its parts. There were, and are for many East Asians today, relationships between every part of the body and almost every other part. 296. To get a feel for this vast web of interconnections, look at a modern acupuncturist's view of the relations between the surface of the ear and the skeleton. 297. An equally complex network describes the relations between the ear and each of the internal organs. 298. The notion that the removal of a malfunctioning or diseased part of the body could be beneficial, without attending to its relations to other parts of the body, would have been too simple minded for the Chinese to contemplate. 299. Melting fats and softening other food particles, hot water makes it easier for detergent to penetrate them. 300. Playing a major role in the economic life of the United States, women currently make up 46% of its workforce. 301. A new metaphor initially makes people reflect on its meaning. Losing its novelty later by gaining popularity, It will give birth to similar types of metaphorical expressions. 302. Being employed on a less secure footing and receiving lower grants than their male colleagues, women in the field of science, engineering, and technology often face discrimination. 303. Having long sought to understand the emergence of expertise, artistic and otherwise, Many researchers argued that exceptional achievement may simply come down to hard work. 304. Over millions of years, the ecosystem has developed an amazing insensitivity to violent natural occurrences. Surviving even such drastic events as the impact of the Yucatan meteorite, which killed tens of thousands of species. 305. Globalization has touched the lives of everyone on the planet, altering not just international relations, but everyday life. 306. The early volunteers devoted themselves to hours of unpaid work for the poor and helpless, never minding that few appreciated what they were doing for society. 307. Only true acting can completely absorb an audience, making it not only understand, but participate emotionally in all that is transpiring on the stage, thus enriching the audience with an inner experience that will not be erased by time. 
The historian, assigning events in the chronicle different functions as narrative elements, arranges the events in the form of a story with a discernible beginning, middle, and end. 309. For a building to be beautiful, there must be agreement among its parts. 310. Buildings are choirs rather than soloists, possessing a multiple nature from which arise opportunities for beautiful consonants as well as dissension and discord. 311. While certain buildings appear to have agreed on their aesthetic mission, persuading their many elements to pull together to make a logical contribution to the whole, others seem more conflicted about their intentions, their features pushing in contrary directions. 312. In suburban neighborhoods, it is common for residents to establish rules for the external appearance of homes and gardens, so that a unified aesthetic may be maintained. 313. They may disagree about their size, with windows, roofs, and doors clashing over questions of precedence. 314. We could say that nothing in architecture is ever ugly in itself. Ugliness comes from being in the wrong place or of the wrong size, while beauty is the child of the coherent relationship between parts. 315. Referred to as the flying chair, the first elevator was intended to transport the king comfortably between the first and second floors of his palace. 316. Regarded by Hitler as so-called threats to German culture, hundreds of famous artists, including Marc Chagall and Paul Klee, were publicly named enemies of the state. 317. Sentenced to a long prison term, Gandhi was only set free when he fell ill with a serious medical condition. 318. Now considered a major poet of the 19th century, Emily Dickinson was unknown to the literary world during her lifetime. 319. Discovered a mere 150 years ago and manufactured commercially just half that long, aluminum today ranks behind only iron and steel among metals serving humankind. 320. Exaggerated by people throughout history, the very real genetic differences between races or genders are insignificant when they are compared with the similarities in our minds. 321. Every society needs heroes, and every society has them. Some heroes shine in the face of great adversity, performing amazing deeds in difficult situations. Other heroes do their work quietly, unnoticed by most of us, but making a difference in the lives of other people. 322. Teens, raised with a rapidly maturing internet and expanding cell phone capabilities, have much access to the world around them. 323. Patagonia's fantastic blue glaciers registered as a World Natural Heritage Site in 1981, are rapidly melting due to global warming. 324. Good open communication within an organization is like a strong and healthy circulatory system. 325. Just as inside a living body, the heart, lungs, and bloodstream work constantly to supply oxygen to every living cell. The communication system in an organization supplies its smallest units, the employees, with the most valuable thing, information. 326. Deprived of oxygen, the body's cells malfunction and die. Deprived of information, the organization's individuals and departments cannot work properly. 327. To avoid malfunction and massive failure in the organization, it's vital to keep communication open. 328. Two languages being at hand, 
Bilingual citizens have many cultural and occupational advantages. 329. Machines having taken over the work formerly performed by human hands, laboring jobs are becoming fewer each year. 330. Our adventures in space have been a hymn of national purpose for a half century. The many high notes of success colored with gloomy tones of failure. 331. Distance learning can be particularly helpful if you are trying to pursue a degree while continuing to work full time. 332. With their ability to network and communicate with each other, young people rely on each other's opinions more than marketing messages when making purchase decisions. 333. Machines may sometimes be troublesome, frustrating, and even harmful. Once accustomed to the advantages they provide, however, you feel that they are almost indispensable to your daily life. 334. Confident about themselves and their abilities, children who have high self esteem are more likely to fulfill their potential. 335. A great questioner, Socrates was a natural philosopher, and many consider him the first moralist in that he urged people to question their own values and the very purpose of living by raising the concept of morality and a code of ethics. 336. When studying literature seriously, we acquire a pleasure and a resource we never lose. 337. Although literary study may seem impractical in one sense, few people make a living out of reading books. In another, it is vital and necessary. 338. Literature records and embodies centuries of human thought and feeling, preserving the lives of people who lived before us, who were like us and unlike us, and with whom we can compare our common and divergent humanity. 339. And when we read the stories of our contemporaries, we gain first hand insight into the hidden lives of people with whom we share this human experience. 340. A composition in narrative style follows a chronological order, with one action following another, just as things happened in the original experience. 341. Some people feel uneasy if kindness seems to come to them with no strings attached. 342. With so many ethnicities represented in the U.S., you can explore foreign cultures without going very far when you are in the U.S. 343. Generally speaking, the more uncertain of success or easily sidetracked you are, The more likely it is that you will do an assignment or chore later. 344. Granting that there is perhaps no period in life quite as stressful as the first year of college, students can become more engaged in what they are doing when they see the big picture and avoid being weighed down by the strains of their present circumstances. 345. Admitting that homeschooling is gaining in popularity, in many studies, it has been shown that students benefit more in a classroom setting since the interaction and dialogue with other students create a stimulating learning environment. 346. I firmly believe that all human beings have access to extraordinary energies and powers. Judging from accounts of mystical experience, heightened creativity, Or exceptional performance by athletes and artists, we harbor a greater life than we know. 347. Speaking of rudeness, to be rude is not just to be selfish, in the way that children, until taught otherwise, and animals are instinctively selfish. It is a decision to ignore others that results in being alone. 348. While most newspapers are discarded after a day, magazines can be kept for months and are often widely shared, 
which means that ads in magazines stand a better chance than newspaper ads of being seen and remembered. 349. Also, magazines are printed on higher quality paper and allow for more colorful photography and artwork than a newspaper. 350. Furthermore, many popular magazines are now published in a range of editions, with each edition targeting a specific readership or interest group, instead of being published in a single edition. 351. For example, Time is published in more than 350 different editions, including one for doctors, one for teachers, and another for college students. 352. Each edition attracts advertising aimed at a specific audience. 353. Our happiness and our free self expression is much more assured if we let go of end results. Work toward your goals and don't be imprisoned by them. 354. The famous expression, keep your friends close, but keep your enemies even closer. Was exemplified well in Nelson Mandela's attempt to learn Afrikaans, the language of his enemy. 355. One futurist predicts about healthcare that people will be monitored by healthcare robots that provide early warning signals regarding diseases and epidemics coming our way. 356. Many teenagers are being placed at risk of motorcycle accidents by insufficient safety education and practices. 357. By the 17th century, the Bastille Fortress was being used as a prison and was rumored to contain hundreds of political prisoners. 358. For a long time, we thought that the appendix had no function. But more recently, it has been thought that the appendix plays a role in the body's immune system. 359. By the early 19th century in England, traditional concepts of marriage, such as an alliance between families, a pairing on the basis of wealth or birth, or an arrangement made by parents, had been changed by the romantic notion of love. 360. By the time they graduate from high school, today's students will have been exposed to more information than their grandparents were in a lifetime. 361. The existence of fossils had been known for centuries, yet it was not until the late 1700s and early 1800s that their significance as geologic tools was made evident. 362. During this period, an English engineer and canal builder, William Smith, discovered that each rock formation in the canals he worked on contained fossils unlike those in the beds either above or below. 363. Further, he noted that layers of sediment in widely separated areas could be identified and correlated by their distinctive fossil content. 364. Based on Smith's observations and the findings of many geologists who followed, one of the most important and basic principles in historical geology was formulated. Fossil organisms succeed one another in a definite and determinable order, and therefore any time period can be recognized by its fossil content. 365. This has come to be known as the principle of fossil succession. 366. According to William Smith's discovery, when fossils are arranged according to their age, they do not present a random picture. 367. Some changes in the environment have been caused by natural events. Many more are the result of things that people have done. 368. We are witnessing a tremendous change in consumer behavior. That change is being brought about by technology and the access people have to information. 
The fall in polar bear numbers can be attributed to the loss of sea ice due to its rapid thinning and melting. 370. Some of the difference in longevity between species is ascribed to the degree to which they manufacture their own antioxidants. 371. In general, since the transition from hunter gatherer lifestyles to farming, the establishment of agriculture has been accompanied by the domestication of cattle and other livestock. 372. Tsunamis are often preceded by the retreat of water away from the shoreline, which lures unsuspecting beachgoers onto the exposed seafloor just before the tsunami arrives. 373. Steve Jobs is survived by his wife, kids, and 49,000 Apple employees, as well as millions of huge Apple fans who bought every single product he ever designed. Just to feel that much closer to genius. 374. According to John Adams, the phenomenon that safety measures, like mandatory wearing of seatbelts, contribute to careless driving may be accounted for by the notion that a greater sense of security tempts people to take more risks. 375. In Eastern Europe, The collapse of communist systems was followed by the creation of states with different structures in relation to religion. 376. While the point of cleaning your house is to make it cleaner, the process actually makes things worse. 377. Cleaning stirs up dust, hair, and other powerful allergens. 378. Ironically, those who schedule their big cleaning of the year to coincide with the arrival of spring are leaving themselves doubly vulnerable because they will increase the spread of allergens inside their house just when the amount of allergens outside their house is peaking. 379. Be prepared for the health drain that is caused by cleaning and avoid taking on too big a cleaning task at one time. 380. Now that the economy is characterized more by the exchange of information than by physical goods, geographical centrality has been replaced by attempts to create a sense of cultural centrality. 381. Many of us are normally overcome with fear when we have to talk publicly, and that fear is caused by our own shortage of confidence. 382. Previously, Pyeongchang was outdone by Canada's Vancouver and Russia's Sochi in the contest to host a Winter Olympics. But it won the right to host one in 2018 at the IOC General Assembly in Durban, South Africa. 383. Annually, an estimated 16 million people are bereaved of a close friend or family member in the United States. 384. Many talented 20th century writers have been overshadowed by classical writers such as Charles Dickens and William Shakespeare. 385. Newton is credited with the determination of the force of gravity, creation of calculus, and identification of the mechanics of the solar system. 386. In Russia, men are outnumbered by women, and it is very often stated that it is an issue of luck whether a woman finds a man or not. 387. It is estimated that 70 to 80 percent of the oxygen in the atmosphere is produced by marine plants. 388. More than 18 million Americans have been victimized by ID theft and fraud over the past two years. Which has cost U.S. consumers and businesses more than $100 billion. 389. In the applied arts, such as furniture design and ceramics, an artist must be sensitive to the limits of physical laws. 390. It is often taken for granted that this is not true for other artists, because the primary purpose of fine art 
is not characterized by function. 391. Nevertheless, fine artworks do have many physical constraints, and artists who produce them must be just as sensitive to the laws of physics. 392. A sculpture, for example, must be stable, which requires the sculptor to understand the properties of mass, weight distribution, and stress. 393. Painters must use rigid stretchers so that their canvases will be taut, and they must understand the physical properties of their paints to prevent them from deteriorating, cracking, or discoloring. 394. If a drop of water were magnified to the size of the world, the atoms in it would be about as large as cricket balls. 395. If children were taught how to utilize their talents and do things well from an early age, fewer would fall into patterns of depression when they are older. 396. If the ice caps melted completely, the water formed would empty into the sea and the sea level would rise by about 200 feet. 397. If there were in the world today a majority of people who desire their own happiness more than they desire the unhappiness of others, we could have paradise in a few years. 398. If we lived in a society with no hypothetical situations, we might be in a situation similar to some of the more primitive tribes. Human minds are basically curious, which is the way we develop our thoughts and science. 399. If it were not for books, each generation would have to rediscover the truth of the past for itself. 400. If you saw the way some people treat the world, you would think there is somewhere else to go once the Earth's resources have been exhausted. 401. If we all worked on the assumption that what is accepted as true is really true, there would be little hope of advance. 402. It's easy to see that, for a measurement system to work as a performance improvement mechanism, the data generated by the system must be fed back in a timely manner. 403. It seems that the ability to make productive performance changes is inversely proportional to the time it takes to receive feedback about that performance. 404. For instance, if production workers find out that a device assembled two weeks ago had a problem in it, they probably won't remember the device and almost certainly won't recall the circumstances surrounding the operation at that time in order to assess why the error might have occurred. 405. On the other hand, if the feedback were received the next day, or better yet, the same day, immediate corrective action could be taken. 406. If educated environmentalists hadn't discovered how closely we are tied to the environment and how much we harm it, we wouldn't have even known about environmental crises. 407. When it comes to restricting genetic modifications of any sort, one is reminded of the old saying, if God had wanted us to fly, he would have given us wings. 408. If I had been born to a family during the Stone Age, I would have survived only if I proved my worth as a hunter or gatherer. 409. The silver medalists focus on the notion that if they had performed slightly better, then they would perhaps have won a gold medal. 410. If the security officers had searched the hijacker properly, they would have found his weapon and the whole incident would have been avoided. 411. If officials had made the right decision when the cracks were first found in the building, the collapse might have been prevented or at least managed better. 412. If it had not been for mathematics, 
the Egyptians couldn't have built the Great Pyramids, and many scientific discoveries could not have been made. 4.13. If he had not been discouraged by an unhappy marriage, he probably would never have been able to compose his last symphony. 4.14. People tend to believe the future will be much better than the past and present. They usually underestimate their chances of losing their job or being diagnosed with cancer and envision themselves achieving more than their peers. 4.15. Collectively, we can grow pessimistic about the direction of our country or the ability of our leaders to improve education and reduce crime. But private optimism about our personal future remains incredibly resilient. 4.16. Overly positive assumptions can lead to disastrous miscalculations, make us less likely to get health checkups or open a savings account, and more likely to commit all of our money to a bad investment. But the bias also protects and inspires us. It keeps us moving forward rather than backward. 4.17. If it had not been for optimism, our ancestors might never have ventured far from their tribes, and we might all be cave dwellers still sitting around a fire fearing the dark. 4.18. Even if a better future is often an illusion, to make progress we need to be able to imagine alternative realities, better ones, and we need to believe that we can achieve them. 4.19. Were it not for the special defenses they have against their enemies, many animals could not survive. 420. The piano could hardly have become so popular had the music written for it not occupied a position at the top of European culture. 421. Should you find yourself in a chronically leaking boat, energy devoted to changing vessels is likely to be more productive than energy devoted to patching leaks. 422. Some experts say that were Charles Darwin alive today, he would be delighted with the scientific validation of his theory of evolution. 423. The weather was of the sort that, had it come on a Sunday, would have permitted the newspapers to report record-breaking crowds in the park. 424. When we pack, we are sometimes amazed to find that we don't need very many things to live. We wouldn't normally believe we could get by with such a tiny amount of stuff. 425. In my own travels, had I taken package tours, I would never have had the eye-opening experiences that have added so much to my appreciation of human diversity. 426. Indeed, abstracting is difficult for people in every discipline. 427. Many famous novelists, Mark Twain and Ernest Hemingway come to mind, have written to their editors that they regretted the extreme length of their manuscripts. Had they had more time, the work would have been half as long. 428. Winston Churchill is supposed to have said that he could talk for a long time with five minutes' notice, but needed a long time to prepare with only five minutes to speak. 429. The essence of writing, these individuals say, is not putting words on the page, but learning to recognize and eradicate the unnecessary ones. 430. We wish we could report more progress in the efforts to fight the growing problem of water shortages. 431. When I was a little boy, I wished there were a way to keep wonderful moments in a bottle so I could open it up whenever I needed to get a good whiff. 432. I wish I hadn't spent so much of my energy when I was younger trying to please those whose opinions never mattered. 433. According to a survey of 457 passengers in serious airplane evacuations, 
Though the pre-flight safety briefing was helpful, the respondents wished there had been a more vivid and practical warning than the one they got. 434. Use your eyes as if tomorrow you would be stricken blind. Hear the music of voices, the song of a bird, as if you would be stricken deaf tomorrow. 435. In an essay, Virginia Woolf described, with a sense of marvel, the act of coining a new word. It is wonderful, she wrote, as if thought plunged into a sea of words and came up dripping. 436. Scientists are always talking confidently about atoms and their behavior, as though they could see exactly what they are like and what they do. 437. Everyone, even the truly good among us, makes mistakes. If a close friend injured you, pretend as though you had not noticed it. That's the essence of forgiveness and what friends do. 438. We plan our vacations sometimes as if they were the only part of life worth really living. 439. We build up our expectations that our time off is going to be the highlight of our year, a saving grace that will make up for all the hassle and disappointment of our daily lives. 440. However, vacation represents a tiny percentage of our overall lives. Most people spend a week or two on vacation, and the rest of the time, it's business as usual. 441. To spend 50 weeks a year planning and longing for the other two is a classic example of reversed priorities, an exercise in almost guaranteed frustration. 442. Without government support of the arts, there would be a great deal of cultural wealth lost because of the lack of power to either promote creation or protect it for future generations. 443. Every part of history is intimately interconnected with every other part in such a way that all melt imperceptibly into one another. No part of it would be quite as it is without the preceding parts. 444. But for the person of Napoleon Bonaparte, the history of France and of Europe would have followed a course different from the one we know in the ten years following the French Revolution. 445. With less tension, the world would be able to function as a whole and peace would be the ultimate outcome. 446. If trials are televised, a huge audience will be made aware of cases, and crucial witnesses who would otherwise be ignorant of a case may play their potential role in it. 447. The recent spirit of cooperation among various branches of the sciences has led to a number of discoveries which might not otherwise have been made. 448. In World War I, the British government found itself desperately short of wood, so tree planting programs, such as one in the highlands of Scotland, were set up after the war. 449. Pine seedlings grown in pots of soil sterilized by humans died within two or three years of being planted in the ground. 450. Experiments showed that seedlings planted in natural soil survived. 451. Scientists discovered that the fungi in these environments play an essential role in nutrient uptake and may help to protect plants against diseases from the soil. 452. The lesson learned was that without the organism living alongside the pine seedlings' roots, the trees would not survive. 453. Reduced workloads would keep employees from burning out, allowing them to function at a more creative and productive level. 454. Just a fraction nearer the sun, the Earth would be a furnace like Venus, considering the temperature of the sun, which is around 6,000 degrees Celsius. 
455. The ideal society would enable every man and woman to make the best of their inborn possibilities. 456. Industrial diamonds are so important that a shortage would cause a breakdown in the metalworking industry and would destroy mass production. 457. It would be imprudent, not to say foolish, to rely on your instincts and intuition all the time. 458. Invented 10,000 years earlier, the camera could have recorded mammoths wandering the plains during the last ice age. 459. Recognized by a wider audience, Kafka might have been appreciated during his time. But the author died from tuberculosis at age 40, before much of his work was published or even finished. 460. In a normal year without recession, students would have successfully finished their job hunting while still in their final year of university. 461. A great and wise philosopher. Tom Sawyer would have comprehended that work consists of whatever a body is obliged to do, and that play consists of whatever a body is not obliged to do. 462. This would help him to understand why constructing artificial flowers or performing on a treadmill is work, while rolling ten pins or climbing Mont Blanc is only amusement. 463. There are wealthy men in England who drive four horse passenger coaches 20 or 30 miles on a daily line in the summer because the privilege costs them considerable money. But to offer them wages for the service would turn it into work, and then they would resign. 464. As a source of exchange, innovation, and creativity, cultural diversity is as necessary for humankind. As biodiversity is for nature. 465. Managing the economy well is as important to society's progress as learning to read is to an individual's education. 466. Companies that change constantly but without any consistent rationale will collapse just as surely as those that change not at all. 467. Britain was attached to Europe during the last ice age and remains close to Europe, and consequently its isolation is not as profound as that of New Zealand, which is a considerable distance from the nearest continent and has not been connected to a continent for over 60 million years. 468. It is important not so much to give a man bread. As to put him in the way of earning it for himself, not to give direct aid, but to help others to help themselves. 469. I like to travel to as many destinations as possible for the sake of enlightenment as well as pleasure. 470. Employers, at the point of graduation, may not so much treasure a student's grades. As the habits and attitudes which those grades signify. 471. As international crises occasionally threaten the supply of oil to the United States, some supporters of nuclear energy point out that their dependence on foreign oil would be lessened if all oil burning power plants were converted to nuclear plants. 472. This claim is not as persuasive as it seems, however, because oil is responsible for generating only about 3% of the electricity in the United States. They rely on oil primarily for powering automobiles and heating buildings. 473. Thus, the replacement of electricity generated by oil with electricity generated by nuclear energy. Would do little in the short term to lessen their dependence on foreign oil, because they would still need oil for heating buildings and driving motor vehicles. 474. However, technological advances could change nuclear power's potential contribution in the future.
475. If electric heating systems and electric motor vehicles become less rare, nuclear power plants have the potential to heat buildings and power automobiles and thus could decrease their reliance on foreign oil. 476. Every day the sun delivers to the earth thousands of times as much energy as we currently derive from all other sources. 477. There is gravity on the moon, but the gravitational force is much weaker than the Earth's. Thus, objects on the moon weigh one sixth as much as they do on the Earth. 478. We listen about twice as much as we speak, four times more than we read, and five times more than we write. 479. Whale milk contains around 10 times as much fat as human milk, which helps calves achieve growth. The average calf grows as much as 200 pounds per day during its first year. 480. Three of my children are medical doctors. They know at least 100 times as much about your body as my grandfather knew. But they don't know much more about the soul than he did. 481. It has been estimated that a child born in the United States today will consume at least 20 times as much natural resources during his or her lifetime as a child born in India and contribute about 50 times as much pollution to the environment. 482. Poetry has the virtue of being able to say twice as much as prose in half the time. And the drawback. If you do not give it your full attention, of seeming to say half as much in twice the time. 483. People are loss averse. Losing something makes you twice as miserable as gaining the same thing makes you happy. 484. In a simple experiment where half the students in a class are given coffee mugs with the insignia of the university they are attending printed on it, And the other students who do not get a mug are asked to examine their neighbors' mugs. Mug owners are invited to sell their mugs, and non owners are invited to buy them. 485. They do so by answering the question At each of the following prices, indicate whether you would be willing to give up your mug, buy a mug. 486. The results show that those with mugs demand roughly twice as much to give up their mugs as others are willing to pay to get one. 487. What this means is that people do not assign specific values to objects. When they have to give something up, they are hurt more than they are pleased if they acquire the very same thing. 488. Every generation imagines itself to be more intelligent than the one that went before it, and wiser than the one that comes after it. 489. You can make more friends in two months by becoming interested in other people than you can in two years by trying to get other people interested in you. 490. Anger is an acid that can do more harm to the vessel in which it is stored than to anything on which it is poured. 491. An interview can obtain a high response rate because people find it more difficult to turn down a personal request for an interview than to throw away a written questionnaire. 492. When people expect to see someone again, They are more likely to find that person attractive, regardless of the individual's behavior, than if they do not have expectations of future interaction. 493. According to research, those who watched television more than three hours a day were much more likely than those who watched it less than one hour a day to commit subsequent acts of aggression against other people. 494. The length of your education is less important than its breadth, and the length of your life is less important than its depth. 495.
Even worse than reaching a conclusion with just a little evidence is the fallacy of reaching a conclusion without any evidence at all. 496. For those who need only a few items, it is far more reasonable to pull up to a highly streamlined convenience store than to run to a supermarket. 497. There, consumers can park right in front and quickly find an array of goods, bread, milk, tissues, aspirin, as well as several efficient self-serve items, such as coffee, sandwiches, microwavable instant food, etc. 498. Like the fast food restaurant, which offers a specialized menu, a convenience store has sought to stuff its shops with a limited array of commonly sought goods. 499. Its efficiency stems from the fact that it ordinarily sells only one brand of each item, with many items unobtainable. 500. For greater selection, the consumer must go to the inefficient, at least if you are shopping for a few items, supermarket. 501. The less willing you are to share your problems with loved ones and friends, the more those problems will come to overwhelm you. 502. Certainly it should be clear that the more science we possess, the more philosophy we need, because the more power we have, the more direction we need. 503. The better educated you are, and the more you continue to learn new things, the greater the likelihood that you'll maintain high cognitive functioning. 504. Despite the fact that the majority of evidence indicates there is no correlation, much less a cause-and-effect relationship between cell phone use and brain tumors, the controversy continues. 505. Like many other alternative therapies, the popularity of hypnotherapy continues to grow, but there is no scientific basis for belief in hypnosis, much less for the validity of hypnotherapy. 506. Electric cars have several limitations that reduce their popularity. The autos are relatively slow and require constant recharging. Much more, they are expensive. 507. As a professional translator, one is exposed to many types of writing and may even develop a love for a particular style, much more the skills necessary to become an author or poet. 508. When a person obeys another person merely because the mightier of the two has power and threatens violence, the one giving the orders is a tyrant and the one obeying them his slave. 509. Multiple choice questions are easier to answer than open questions because recognition occurs when we see memory triggers. 510. But recall involves more than mere recognition. It requires an amount of processing, as we have to generate various answers before judging which one is right. 511. We recall information that we've learned most effectively when we're given reminder prompts, such as the initial letter of a required word, and when we are presented with a good memory trigger, the relevant memory web fires and draws the memory out. 512. The more links we have in our memory web, the better our chances of retrieving the information we need. 513. The increases in skill and technology themselves have ensured no more of an increase in human happiness or well-being than academic development has ensured the development of good character. 514. Thinking is a natural thing, just like breathing or nutrition. This means that we do not learn to think any more than we learn to breathe or to assimilate food. 515. It is my firm belief that democratic values are no less important than economic success or people's social welfare. 516. Having knowledge but lacking the power to express it clearly 
is no better than never having any ideas at all. 517. By the 1890s in the United States, people could enjoy perishable foods like fruits, vegetables, and dairy products, previously available for not more than a month, for up to six months of the year, due to the invention of canning and increased use of ice boxes. 518. While on a diet, you should eat less, but not less than 1,200 calories, since extreme restriction of consumed calories sends signals to your body to conserve calories, which can significantly slow your metabolic rate and hinder your weight loss goals. 519. To encourage student participation in group discussion, it is recommended to involve no more than 20 persons and to plan the material to be covered carefully. 520. Many phenomena mystify the human mind, and when people do not have scientific explanations, they will construct others that, no less than the former, influence their conduct. 521. Researchers have recognized that vigorous exercise causes the release of healthful hormones, endorphins, that flow through the body, enhance our physical and mental performance, and energize many bodily systems. 522. Many doctors are also now recommending a ritual that other cultures, particularly the Swedes and Finns, have long relied on, dry heat saunas followed by cold showers, to restore the body externally and internally. 523. Like exercise, Saunas cleanse the body of toxins, stimulate the circulatory system, and produce a wide range of desirable effects. 524. In the past 20 years, another surprise has been discovered. Laughter is no less beneficial than exercise in terms of enhancing our physical and mental performance. 525. The work of Dr. Norman Cousins and others has clearly demonstrated that laughing can create significant hormonal changes in the body, ultimately helping it resist disease and in some cases curing it. 526. No other resource is so essential for economic growth, sustainable development, or the alleviation of poverty worldwide as is water. 527. Eric Erickson, well known for his psychosocial development theory, says that the first issue an infant faces right after birth is trust. He emphasizes that no factor is as important as trust in the child's developing personality. 528. I think no one else is so much to be pitied as the person who gets nothing at all out of his work but his pay. 529. No single flower is so universally known, so closely connected with the culture of many civilizations, and so rich in poetic and mythological significance as the rose. 530. China's economy has grown at a faster rate than that of any other country in history, which makes its future growth a key topic of interest for both domestic planners and international onlookers. 531. Except for nuclear war or a collision with an asteroid, no force has more potential to damage our planet's web of life than global warming. 532. The literature of an oppressed people reflects the conscience of man, and nowhere is this seen with more intense clarity than in the literature of African Americans. 533. Researchers who have spent thousands of hours observing the behavior of bottlenose dolphins off the coast of Australia have discovered that the males form social alliances with one another that are far more sophisticated than any alliance seen in animals apart from human beings. 534. Because humans consider themselves the highest form of life, and therefore better than any other animal, Giving animals human characteristics and speaking voices in movies and books is a useful satirical tool for exposing human folly or showing human behavior to be more animal-like than we like to admit. 
535. One famous example is George Orwell's Animal Farm, an incisive satire of the Russian Revolution and its leaders, in which Russia is a farm, the revolutionary leaders are pigs, and other animals are various members of Russian society at that time. 536. The animals run the farm themselves and manipulate it for their own benefit, only to have it degenerate into a brutal tyranny of its own. 537. Lucky lottery winners or other recipients of sudden wealth buy a large house, fancy furniture, a new car, etc. But rarely does the money appear to open the way for a more meaningful, exciting existence. 538. In no country other than England, it has been said, can one experience four seasons in the course of a single day. 539. Not only does morning exercise help you burn calories during the actual workout, but keeps your metabolism high after you're finished. 540. Not until a student has mastered algebra can he or she begin to understand the principles of physics. 541. Only when the last tree has died, and the last river been poisoned, and the last fish been caught, will we realize that money is worthless. 542. Science and art belong to the whole world, and before them vanish the barriers of nationality. 543. So imprudent are we that we waste our lives thinking about the future, a time in which we are powerless, rather than focusing on the present, the time in which we have control. 544. Integrity is the key to defending ourselves against the virus of corruption, like an element in one's immune system. Such a crucial one is its role that not only individuals, but systems and institutions, too, need it. 545. Now available to scientists is the technology and equipment to measure the composition and structure of matter on a nanoscale. 546. Animals have many rituals in the form of self-displays and other regularly repeated behavior patterns. 547. For example, starlings may gather at dusk only in certain trees, and peacocks will show off their tail feathers to attract maids. 548. These predictable actions demonstrate credible commitment because the animal's brains are hardwired to stick to that commitment. 549. In contrast, Human behaviors repeated regularly are different, so some scientists even think that we ought not to use the word ritual to describe this behavior, and that a word like habituation might be better. 550. The difference lies in the fact that we have a choice. No matter how deeply buried are the emotional, psychological, and biological origins of the ritual, in such a way are our brains still wired that we can choose how to react to it. 551. In other words, the repeated practices of humans have developed over the centuries as our cognitive faculties gradually improved and grew in their complexity, which means we create rituals by choice in order to improve our social capacity. 552. The computer has made possible vast gains in industrial productivity and global communication. 553. Astronomers no longer regard as fanciful the idea that they may one day pick up signals which have been sent by intelligent beings on other worlds. 554. Experts in education recommend that teachers withhold their personal opinions in classroom discussions as the position of the teacher carries with it an authority that might influence some students to accept the teacher's opinion without question and thus miss the point of the activity. 555. Do you think the reason will ever be known why Stonehenge, a prehistoric monument located in southwestern England, was made? 
556. Despite many arguments to justify a monolingual approach to international business, the simple fact remains that a fundamental precondition of any successful international business enterprise is effective communication. 557. Science has brought within the reach of the multitudes benefits and advantages which only a short time ago were the privilege of the few. 558. Researchers found in a survey of 542 households in England that the beach was rated a more enjoyable place to visit than national parks, museums, or amusement parks. 559. People were most attracted by those areas of coastline that were perceived as possessing characteristics of natural settings and offering peace and quiet. 560. The research also discovered that one of the most important functions of the beach was creating a connection between people and their past, when visits were made in childhood, thereby permitting an element of continuity in a rapidly changing society. 561. The researchers compare this continuity to rereading a favorite book or flipping through the family photograph album. 562. The beach also provided an environment for family interaction, with two generations often visiting the beach, and acted as a stress reliever. 563. An error does not become truth by reason of multiplied propagation, nor does truth become error because nobody sees it. 564. Food eaten without desire is difficult for the body to absorb nutrients from, and so is study done without interest difficult for the mind to process effectively. 565. Just as TV programs featuring kindness and unselfishness cannot compensate for growing up in a brutal and violent household, neither can violent programs override decency and good manners in a household in which these attributes. Are constantly valued and practiced. 566. Some physicians propose that there is no direct relationship between the severity of the wound and the intensity of pain, but that the meaning our minds give to an injury greatly determines the level of pain. 567. There exists below our consciousness a swamp of repressed desires, resentments, And motivations that affect our day to day behavior. 568. Should you put a very dirty garment into a washing machine with other clothes, it may cause all the garments to be muddy looking after they have been laundered. 569. Interested as I am in the physical universe, it is in man, in his loves and hatreds, his noble achievements and absurd failures. That I am more interested. 570. Iron rusts from disuse. Water loses its purity from stagnation and in cold weather becomes frozen. Even so does inaction sap the vigor of the mind. 571. The streets of medieval towns sadly fell far short of the ideal. They were not always paved. Though occasionally one finds in medieval records a note of the payment for a street to be covered in stone. 572. Nor were there any sidewalks. Pedestrians could only keep as far as possible from the middle of the road, but were always liable to be splashed by the passage of animals and vehicles. 573. Most of them, however, were at best given an occasional dressing of sand or ash. 574. They were usually made to slope, not, as is the practice today, toward a gutter on each side, but toward the middle. 575. Water was thus kept away from the buildings which lined the streets on each side. 576. In this way, after heavy rain, there was nothing to keep a street from becoming a miniature watercourse. 577. 
since there are variations among students in their school performance and in their potential to excel academically. Not all students pursue the same course of academic training. 578. One is sorry one could not have taken both branches of the road, but we were not allotted multiple selves. 579. Plastic is not always easily or economically recyclable, and once manufactured, plastic may last virtually indefinitely. 580. Being different from the crowd today does not necessarily mean being against something, but rather being strong in one's support for certain new ideas. 581. His father's bankruptcy in business broke his hope into pieces, but soon he found that the odds were not entirely against him. 582. Because a man has his faults, it does not follow that what he has produced, sponsored, or been associated with is worthless. Likewise, because a man is beyond praise, it does not follow that his every idea is so good that it doesn't need to be examined. 583. Inflation does not always imply falling purchasing power of one's real income, since one's wages may rise faster than inflation. 584. The pleasure we derive from doing favors is partly in the feeling it gives us that we are not altogether worthless. It is a pleasant surprise to ourselves. 585. Although most children acquire some ability to manufacture facial expressions they don't feel, not everyone does this equally well or believes it to be a good thing. 586. Some children, for example, who do not suppress anger with a smile, tend to be the ones who more generally have behavior problems. 587. Investigators have found that unpopular children are more likely to frown and grimace when they lose at a game, and less likely to contain their smiling when they win at a game than popular children. 588. They will probably vent their real feelings and are less likely to suppress these for the sake of others' feelings, which is not likely to endear them to others. 589. Although learning to hide negative feelings is considered an important social skill, it isn't always beneficial for personal relationships. 590. Socially competent children recognize that there are times when hiding or disguising emotions is what friends do. 591. In my hometown, nobody would buy a melon without feeling it and smelling it. And nobody would dream of buying a chicken without knowing which farm it came from and what it ate. 592. The age of three and a half is not without its charm. One of the more amusing aspects of this age is the child's often vivid imagination, which is expressed most strikingly in his enjoyment of imaginary companions. 593. It is unlikely that any major enterprise was ever undertaken without an expert arguing conclusively that it would not succeed. 594. Hardly any two words in a language have precisely the same meaning and usage, and we can seldom put a word in place of the one which a great writer has used without making a change for the worse. 595. Even though there is argument over what constitutes a hero, few among us fail to admire heroic acts. 596. It's not unfair that those who exert more effort or make a greater contribution to a project should receive greater benefit from it. 597. Although it's not uncommon for women to play sports and for men to become nurses, society still has some pretty clear definitions of what men and women should do, how they should handle situations, and what responsibilities they should take care of. 
Computers may yield important predictions about complex phenomena, but the predictions they make can never be relied on without experimental confirmation. 599. One of the main worries about globalization is that multinational brands, styles, products, and tastes will overpower and eventually extinguish individual differences and cultural diversity. 600. From this point of view, globalization threatens to unite all that was formerly varied, strange, and unique. Consider a world where not a single coffee shop is not a Starbucks or does not imitate Starbucks. 601. Perhaps the following question is worth asking Does Western culture always extinguish a local culture that buys into a Western way of doing things? Or, on the other hand, Do the myriad pockets of local cultures around the world simultaneously receive and transform the Western commodities and styles in a way that resists total homogenization? 602. In less developed countries, the quality and scale of secondary education is far from adequate and needs to be reformed in order to meet the UN's universal education target. 603. Don't allow your life and expectations to become anything but deeply personal reflections of what matters the most to you. Let your life goals guide you. 604. There are probably no areas in the world, however high, deep, cold, or barren, that are entirely free from the influence of humankind. 605. I had no ear for music. Father was the last man to take this into consideration, however. He looked upon children as raw material that a father should mold, so he tried energetically to force me to sing. 606. The skills required for making rational decisions amidst the complexities of free market economies are beyond the abilities of most consumers. 607. In ancient Rome, candidates wore pure white togas to indicate that they were above any dirty work. However, it is interesting to note that the togas were discarded after election. 608. Let's tell young people the best books are yet to be written, the best painting, the best government, and the best of everything is yet to be done by them. 609. Yesterday, we heard the news about the plane crash and have yet to discover whether there are any survivors, though hundreds of firefighters, police, and rescuers are actively searching. 610. What does it matter if we have a new book or an old book if we open neither? 611. Due to the Copernican theory, many people assume that the Sun is the center of the universe fixed in space. 612. But really, the Sun is dragged along in the tides of our local spiral galaxy and bounces up and down like a ship in the ocean as it drifts. 613. Some scientists think this up and down motion brings it close enough to pull on an enormous drifting cloud of comets and space debris that surround our solar system. 614. Whenever the Sun climbs to a peak or sinks to its lowest position every 20 some million years, it might attract small bodies from the cloud, comets, and send them flying toward Earth. 615. Most would get deflected by the gravity of the Sun, or Jupiter, which prevented the Shoemaker Levy comet from colliding with us. But enough would slip through that Earth would be beyond protection. 616. This theory is far from proved, but if it ever is, we will know for certain just how incredibly fragile our planet's existence is. 617. A horse is useless if no one can ride, a sword if no one can strike, and meat if no one can eat. Thus, every material utility depends on a related human ability. 
In a research team, one member might be particularly good at experimental design, another at data analysis, and a third at writing reports. By learning who is good at what, the group facilitates collaboration. 619. Most data about social problems can't solve the problems because the data is mostly about how the problem is happening, but not about why. To define why from the data is the job researchers and policymakers need to focus on. 620. The recycling project, although well intended, has failed to achieve what we wanted it to. 621. Failure can be an opportunity if you are willing to change. If not, be prepared to fail again and again as the world attempts to teach you its lessons. 622. The first and best way for a baby to learn that exercise is a lifetime routine is by imitating his or her parents. So you should be your child's role model, incorporating physical activity into your daily routine and involving your child in your workout routine whenever possible. 623. A great deal of time and opportunity for actual reading, writing, and discussion of text needs to be presented to students, as well as good reading instruction. If not, the instruction will not take hold and flourish. 624. What if money were not an issue in your life? Then you would see that what matters is that we are living right now and that we have the freedom to enjoy life and make a positive impact in the lives of others. 625. Performance is something you do that brings about an observable change in the external world. Learning, on the other hand, is a change within the learner, although often a result of interaction with the external world. 626. For much of modern civilization, people have sought to place different kinds of arts into an artificial hierarchy in which some forms of the arts are considered better than others. 627. Classical music, for instance, has long been viewed as more serious or worthy than folk music or pop music. 628. And so it is with other branches of the arts. 629. Distinguishing between branches of art can sometimes be difficult, especially when performances combine music with visuals. 630. Painting is thought to be a higher form of art than cartooning, theater higher than movies, classic novels higher than blockbuster novels. 631. In America, as much as anywhere else, such distinctions largely hold true, with the world of high art, opera, ballet, poetry, etc., seen as superior to and separate from popular culture, hip-hop, rap, TV dramas, mass-market fiction, etc. 632. From birth, you absorb and are shaped by the language, values, and patterns of behavior that characterize your own small immediate group. 633. Whether we like it or not, we are controlled by, rather than in control of, natural forces. 634. The heart of all innovative conceptions lies in the borrowing from, adding to, or changing of old ideas. 635. Hamlet became and has remained famous not only because it is an exceptionally rich and fascinating text, but also because it has been and still is being played, adapted, assessed, and quoted. 636. The loss of any one language means a reduction in the sum total of human thought and knowledge and an impoverishment of the human race. 637. Philosophy offers you a chance to explore fundamental questions and to see what thinkers in different periods have had to say about them. 638. Consumers often do not know the quality of a product when making their purchase decisions, which means demand is based on expectations, 
rather than on complete information. 639. The most terrible acts committed by humans have often been the ones not of criminals or madmen, but of ordinary loyal citizens acting in the presumed interests of their group against another group. 640. We offer lengthy scientific explanations as answers to children's questions. When a direct experience of something similar or an image that can live and work in their imagination would be much more satisfying to them. 641. Alliances are mainly formed to prevent any state or group of states from becoming overly powerful in international politics. And thus play a significant role in maintaining the balance of power. 642. Today I notice that we continue to be fascinated with the way children see things and the associations that they make. 643. Although it often happens in subtle ways, society indeed hinders children's non standard behavior. Hyperactivity is punished, or worse yet, medicated. 644. It is no surprise that we grow up afraid to differ and express our true selves. 645. Yet at a certain age, the promotion of the creative impulse stops, because once a child begins going to school, societal pressures start to take hold. Acting a little different becomes a problem, and children are pressured to conform. 646. Even their mistakes are attractive because they come from a very pure place. 647. They think, write, draw, sing, or behave in nonsensical and fabulous ways, which encourages and facilitates more creativity. 648. The language and culture of your particular community determine in a very real sense who you are by limiting the ideas you are exposed to. And shaping the attitudes you form. 649. Because the media tends to focus on crimes, particularly violent or sensational ones, it is easy to think that crime rates are skyrocketing even when they are not. 650. An idealist is one who, on noticing that a rose smells better than a cabbage, concludes that it will also make better soup. 651. We suspect that children these days, ranging from infants to adolescents, communicate with other people less frequently than they used to, or that their communication may have greatly changed in quality. 652. The Hollywood sign, located in Los Angeles, was not constructed, as one might suppose, by the movie business as a means of celebrating the importance of Hollywood to this industry. Instead, it was first constructed in 1923 as advertising for a housing project. 653. Too many thoughts, even if they don't lead to such drastic topics as the fate of the earth, are unsettling and make it much harder to sleep. 654. We must show every young person, no matter how deprived his background may be, That he has a genuine opportunity to fulfill himself and, if determined, play a constructive role in our society. 655. It is useful to distinguish between discoveries, which showed for the first time how some aspect of nature worked, and inventions, which turned those discoveries into appliances useful to humankind. 656. Believe it or not, The substance that we believe is cleansing us is actually hurting us by polluting our environment. 657. The total characteristics of a plant depend on which genes it has received from the parent plants, whether those genes are switched on, expressed, and also the interactions between the genes and environmental factors. 658. Universities were once seen as exclusive clubs with little practical value, and university students, disregarding the cares and concerns of the real world, were both envied and despised for what was considered to be their privileged existence. 
659. Today, many colleges have a different image and are attracting a wider range of students with the promise of practical training for high income careers. 660. So called practical subjects, including business studies, information technology, engineering, and law, have enjoyed increased funding at the expense of classical arts subjects, pure mathematics, and physics. 661. Can the arts and pure sciences survive as universities continue to change? 662. Perhaps the answer lies in showing that the classical is also pragmatic, thus making college subjects relevant to the real world. 663. The most difficult mental obstacle you have to overcome is inertia, the tendency to slip back into your comfort zone and to lose your forward momentum. 664. The value of caring for children is widely shared in other cultures. But Confucianism places special emphasis on filial piety, caring for elderly parents. 665. Once a bottle of perfume has been opened, it becomes susceptible to oxidation, a process that changes the chemical makeup and therefore the smell of the perfume. 666. The so called Mozart effect. Listening to Mozart will make your child smarter is a good example of a scientific finding being distorted by the media through hype not warranted by the research. 667. The question of whether madness contributed to the work of Van Gogh and might even have been the force behind it may be viewed as a valid one. 668. Geothermal heat generated inside the Earth. Helps keep the temperature of the ground at a depth of several meters at a nearly constant temperature of about 10 degrees Celsius to 20 degrees Celsius. 669. Curcuma, or turmeric, not only often shows up as a spice in Asian cuisine, but may also be a helpful treatment for people with arthritis, Alzheimer's disease, and some forms of cancer. 670. Wagner's The Ring of the Nibelungs is distinctive in that it is almost entirely operatic. Also unusual is the fact that the liberati for his operas were written by the composer himself, a task normally reserved for a poet or literary notable. 671. Before you give advice, that is to say, advice which you have not been asked to give, it is well to put to yourself two questions. Namely, what is your motive for giving it, and what is it likely to be worth? 672. When we choose an item from a number of options, the attractive features of the rejected items will decrease the satisfaction derived from the chosen item. 673. This is a very important reason why many options can be harmful to our well being. 674. Because we do not put rejected items out of our minds, we experience the disappointment of having our satisfaction with decisions reduced by all the options we considered but did not choose. 675. In light of these negative effects of opportunity cost, the opportunity lost by choosing one item over another, we are tempted to ignore opportunity costs altogether in making decisions. 676. What I love more than anything else in the world is writing with the knowledge that somebody wants to read what I'm writing. 677. That a movement is revolutionary generally implies only that it is new and is disposed to exert itself by strong methods such as force, which is unfortunate but often unavoidable as those in power have generally been equally willing to use force for suppression. 678. It was a great moral shock to most thinking people that the first proof of man's having uncovered one of the innermost secrets of the universe should have been the making and using of a weapon of mass destruction, the atomic bomb. 679. 
whether work should be placed among the causes of happiness or among the causes of unhappiness, may perhaps be regarded as a doubtful question. 680. What counts is not necessarily the size of the dog in the fight, it's the size of the fight in the dog. 681. According to Harvard research, what separates innovators from non creative professionals is associating. The ability to successfully connect seemingly unrelated questions, problems, or ideas from different fields. 682. Whoever acquires knowledge but does not practice it is as one who plows but does not sow. 683. When evaluating a job opportunity, how much variety there is in the tasks you will perform is far more important than the salary and workload. 684. Technology was not the only means by which people tried to control their natural environment. 685. What are regarded today as irrational activities, such as magic, astrology, and alchemy, were practiced by people whose scientific credentials leave no doubt as to their rationality. 686. For example, Isaac Newton was one of the most famous alchemists of all times. 687. It will not do to dismiss magic as nonsensical, because rationality is conditional in that the information available affects what is rational, and without modern science, it was impossible for people to know what worked and what did not. 688. The important difference between technology and magic is not that technology works and magic does not, but that one deals with what we understand, while the other with what still remains a mystery. 689. Anxiety sabotages academic performance of all kinds. 126 different studies of more than 36,000 people found that the more prone to anxiety a person is, The poorer his or her academic performance is. 690. The responses of children as they grow to adulthood indicate their feelings for their parents change, and that more than half feel more positive about their upbringing as they age. 691. As an undercurrent movement referred to as small living is creating waves against wasteful consumption. An increasing number of global citizens have realized bigger things are not better, and that more shouldn't necessarily be obtainable. 692. Art shows us that human beings still matter in a world where money talks the loudest, where computers know everything about us, and where robots fabricate our next meal. 693. One may wonder if literary fiction is destined to become an old fashioned genre to be preserved in a museum like an extinct species. 694. When there are conflicts in a group, how the organization deals with its group members' diversity largely determines whether the conflicts can be dealt with effectively. 695. I doubt whether richer countries will commit to numeric targets to reduce greenhouse gas emissions if it cripples their industry. 696. Animal rights activists question whether research with animals is necessary for scientific and medical progress, and if all of the experiments and the animals used are justified and required. 697. A team led by Richard Fuller at the University of Sheffield looked at local differences in the city, and 15 green spaces were surveyed for their wildlife diversity. 698. Researchers measured the richness of the plant species, butterflies were identified and recorded, and so were the birds. 699. In order to understand the reaction of people to these natural areas, interviews were conducted with over 300 users, investigating whether the green spaces were regarded as important for positive emotional bonds and their sense of identity.
700. The number of habitats found in a particular place was correlated with reflection and personal identity. Plant variety tended to be associated with an ability to reflect, and birds with emotional attachment. 701. The researchers suggested that urban green spaces might best be managed to take advantage of the benefits found in the study. 702. The study found that there is a measurable positive link between the level of species diversity in urban green spaces and the psychological benefit. 703. People who say they don't care what people think are usually desperate to have people think they don't care what people think. 704. I've learned that people will forget what you said, people will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. 705. Although there are international agreements signed by some governments, people are killing whales without considering what future consequences this will have. 706. When I saw the misery of dying children on TV, I decided to donate what little money I had to charity. 707. Given the recent accidents, such as a building collapse and a subway fire, the government ought to take whatever steps are necessary to restore public trust. 708. When dealing with a problem, slowing down provides time to consider how the issue has been framed and whether we have really considered all the relevant factors. 709. Many students in a classroom do not know why they are in the classroom, why they take lessons. No matter how hard a teacher tries to create a friendly atmosphere and make the lesson enjoyable, the solution is within the students. 710. We live in a world of visual stimuli, and television news with its ever-present background visuals has transformed how we see politicians. 711. Roger Masters introduced the term visual quotes to describe the video clips or photographs that serve as background to television stories about political leaders. 712. When viewers watch a TV newscast about a political leader, their attention is drawn more to the visual images than to what is being said. 713. Many news watchers assume that brief video segments are merely background to the real story, but in truth, they occupy the foreground in people's consciousness and memory. 714. In earlier times, citizens learned their political news through exposure to pamphlets and newspapers. 715. Buy Nothing Day asks us to think about what we buy and whether buying more actually increases our quality of life. 716. The happiest people seem to be those who have no particular cause for being happy, except that they are so. 717. The Middle Ages were a dark time in history, in that the light of learning had grown dim after the fall of the Roman Empire. 718. Many of us have not learned to limit our desires to what we can realistically expect to achieve. 719. In contemporary society, we are all too often judged by what we own rather than by what we are. 720. The choice of which university to go to is an important one, and often depends on what subject a person is interested in and what he or she intends to do afterwards. 721. It may not be valid to assume the media make our time distinct from the past, because we know relatively little about how information was shared in the past. 722. When a pessimist has nothing to worry about, he worries about why he has nothing to worry about. 723. When customers make requests for new product features, they are usually focused on solving just one problem 
and are not thinking of how their requested solution will impact other product or service functions. 724. As our so called information society becomes increasingly complex and wired, the gap between the information rich and the information poor is showing unmistakable signs of widening. 725. Those who don't have access to the vital economic resource of information are doomed to remain in the underclass of wealthy societies. 726. Education and know how are no longer mere keys to upward social mobility. They are now the sole determinants of whether a person will attain success and financial power. 727. The capacity to learn, the willingness to master and apply new concepts, is what any person needs in our complex world. 728. The great misconception younger people have is that older people are unhappy because of their age or spend their time wishing they were younger. 729. One of the effects of aging is that your body becomes less able to regulate its temperature. In such a way that you are able to judge if you are warm or cold. 730. My father's favorite theme was that life has its ups and downs, and that each person has to come to terms with his or her own share of misery. 731. The history of women and minorities in the workplace shows that vigorous enforcement of anti discrimination law. Is what drives progress toward equality in wages and opportunities. 732. Those people who lack sincerity of any kind and cannot be trusted are to society what rotten beams are to a house. 733. For most people, their unique personal philosophy is whatever they were socially conditioned to have as children. 734. The questions we must ask are whether genetic information should be collected at all and who should be able to see and use it. 735. The turning point in the process of growing up is when you discover the core of strength within you that survives all hurt. 736. In education isn't how much you have committed to memory. Or even how much you know. It's being able to differentiate between what you do know and what you don't. 737. The conservative view of violent crime is that it is a bad choice made freely by an offender who has no respect for authority and lacks discipline. 738. In contrast, the typical liberal view is that violence and crime are rooted in wider problems. Such as child abuse and neglect, unemployment and poverty. 739. Therefore, what liberals believe are that the fundamental problem originates in society, not in the offenders themselves, and that the best strategy for preventing violent crime is to eliminate poverty and inequality by creating jobs and providing social services. 740. People may disturb or anger us, but the fact that not everyone objects to their behavior indicates that the problem is probably ours. 741. When a company comes out with a new product, its competitors typically go on the defensive, doing whatever they can to reduce the odds that the offering will eat into their sales. 742. When an individual uses denial to handle difficult circumstances, there is the danger that anger and resentment will build up inside. 743. In writing or speaking English, there is only the general principle that concrete words are better than abstract ones, and that the shortest way of saying anything is always the best. 744. Astronomers are convinced of the theory that the universe came into being and evolved as a result of a massive explosion. 
the opinion is widely held that knowledge of a language is merely one of many possible roads to the understanding of a people. 746. The question persists and grows whether the computer will make it easier or harder for human beings to know who they really are and to identify their real problems. 747. The report that the intensity of a taste is decreased after trying the same taste, but not after trying a different taste, serves as evidence for the existence of distinct receptors for different tastes. 748. Because of some research showing that people already get plenty of vitamins from the food they eat, the question is often asked whether multivitamins should be taken each day. 749. A growing body of evidence now seriously questions the simplistic and traditional notion that greater financial security alone brings increased happiness. 750. The World Values Survey has been compiling data from 350,000 people in 97 countries since 1981. 751. In 2008, Denmark scored very highly in gender equality and tolerance of minorities, which means it is the home of the world's most contented citizens. 752. Reported happiness rose in 40 countries and decreased in just 12, and the happiest countries are those whose citizens tolerate minority groups. 753. The results showed that gender equality, tolerance, education, and freedom of choice were more important than wealth in creating the feeling of happiness and well being. 754. 5,000 years ago, Sumerians in the Tigris Euphrates Valley had a calendar that divided the year into 30 day months and the day into 12 periods. 755. Much of your email comes from complete strangers who don't know you and who just want to sell you something you probably don't really want. 756. The more we surround ourselves with people who are the same as we are, Who hold the same views and who share the same values, the greater the likelihood that we will shrink as human beings rather than grow. 757. Greed is a bottomless pit which exhausts the person in an endless effort to satisfy the need without ever reaching satisfaction. 758. There are many medications that are safe and effective when taken alone. But ineffective or counterproductive when taken in combination with something else. 759. Poetry moves us to sympathize with the emotions of the poet or with those of the persons whom his imagination has created. 760. One of the values of science is intellectual enjoyment, which some people get from reading about it and which others get from working in it. 761. Certainly, the images of success depicted in the media rarely show the years of struggle and practice that musicians, actors, or athletes engage in before their instant successes. 762. Take time out to do things that you enjoy after work in order to reduce the stress which you experience during your working hours. 763. Mutations are in general harmful to an organism, but beneficial mutations that do occur rarely can form the basis for evolutionary adaptations that improve the fitness of an organism to its environment. 764. The news media are fond of telling audiences that they have the public interest at heart and that they exist as a service for keeping the public informed and up to date on things that matter. 765. However, the fact is that they work to form audiences into a passive, uncritical mass that is content to consume whatever facts the media feed them. 766.
They are encouraged by the media to accept their news reports as the last word on any particular topic or event. 767. To attract and impress audiences, the news media employs sophisticated techniques that project a reassuring appearance of authority and credibility, and that make their stories seem unbiased, comprehensive, and utterly factual. 768. One of the principles on which our judicial system is founded is the assumption that one is presumed innocent until proven guilty. 769. Censorship is the moral or legislative process by which society agrees to limit what an individual can do, say, think, or see. 770. The depth of darkness to which you can descend and still live. Is an exact measure of the height to which you can aspire to reach. 771. The arts are fundamental resources through which disparate communities are united, the human spirit is enriched, and the minds of our children are set free. 772. Every business needs to be clear about the type of customers with whom it wants to deal and for whom it can produce the most value. 773. Personal relationships are the fertile soil from which all advancement, all success, all achievement in real life grows. 774. There are websites online containing the answers to nearly any question about which you might be curious. Still, you must be careful to check the reliability of your source. 775. You have to listen to adversaries and keep looking for that point beyond which it's against their interests to keep on disagreeing or fighting. 776. Anger is the most impotent of passions. It affects nothing it goes about and hurts the one who is possessed by it more than the one against whom it is directed. 777. All abnormal fears are liars. Fear should be excluded from the category of the friends of man, and its place should be taken by reason. 778. Self fear invariably tends to magnify difficulties. Many people fear work, occasions, or responsibilities because they imagine them to be greater than they really are. 779. Herein lies its discrimination from true caution, which analyzes and, having done so, scrutinizes specifics. 780. Because self fear perceives things in lumps or masses, the component parts are lost sight of and the holes are intensified. 781. Analyze a piece of work of which you are fearful. It is not this or that detail that disturbs you. It is the miserable whole. 782. After all, it is just so many elements, fairly difficult, yet clearly not insurmountable. 783. Creative thinking is fostered in classrooms where children are given opportunities to explore new materials and ideas. And to construct new knowledge and skills. 784. Creating an environment where learning and its natural byproduct, mistakes, are okay can be a potent tool to unite a group and inspire creativity, risk taking, and effort. 785. We strive towards the day when nations will be judged not by their military or economic strength. Nor by the splendor of their capital cities and public buildings, but by the well being of their children. 786. The reason why parents mistreat their children has less to do with character and temperament than with the fact that they were mistreated themselves and were not permitted to defend themselves. 787. The reason that the educated people in every country find themselves using foreign phrases in the midst of their own speech is that these expressions point to real things but are untranslatable.
788. Our society must make it right and possible for old people not to fear the young or be deserted by them. For the test of a civilization is the way that it cares for its helpless members. 789. Disease carrying insects can cause disaster in conditions where human beings are crowded together, which is especially true when the poverty is extreme. 790. Most of the 35 million Afro Americans in the USA, like me, grow up in a house where every true mirror shows us the face of somebody who does not belong there, whose talk will never sound right. Because that house was meant to shelter a family that is alien and hostile to us. 791. As we live in this environment, either we hide our original speaking habits, or we completely surrender our own voice, hoping to please those who will never respect anyone different from themselves. 792. We must consider the status of black English. As that of an endangered species in need of protection. 793. If we don't, we can expect this fragile, irreplaceable repository where our history and community are kept to become extinct, and along with it will be extinguished much of what constitutes our identity. 794. Reusable shopping bags, so called eco bags, Which were relatively unknown several years ago, have exploded in popularity since the green movement became fashionable. 795. About the issue of environment and technology, experts are divided into two groups. One is called technological optimists, who argue that technological innovations can save the planet, and the other is called environmental pessimists, who argue that technological progress. Is doing irreversible harm to the environment. 796. The unattractive produce, such as crooked carrots and odd looking tomatoes, may not be valuable to the grocery store, where only perfect produce is sold, but it is just as fresh and clean, and people can benefit from its cheaper price. 797. Some of the most dangerous aspects of euthanasia were seen under the regime of Nazi Germany, where people with intellectual disabilities and severe physical disabilities were euthanized. 798. The first eight expeditions to Everest were British, all of which attempted the mountain from the northern Tibetan side, not because it presented the most obvious weakness in the peak's formidable defenses. But because in 1921, the Tibetan government opened its borders to foreigners, while Nepal remained off limits. 799. When her tremendous faith in humanity was frustrated, she did not lose one ounce of her courage or her sense of outrage over injustice, both of which were essential to the foundation of her entire life. 800. One of the forces that drive evolution is constant competition among species, in the course of which one species gains temporary advantage through an evolutionary innovation, only to be overtaken by a counter innovation. 801. Despite thinking that we would like the freedom to change our minds, it appears that we are happier with our choices if we think they can't be changed. Which means we would be better off if we made romantic commitments more permanent and more difficult to break rather than less. 802. The Pythagoreans delighted in the certainty of mathematical demonstration, the sense of a pure and unsullied world accessible to the human intellect, a world in which the sides of right triangles perfectly obey simple mathematical relationships. 803. It was in striking contrast to the messy reality of the workaday world. 804. They believed that in their mathematics they had glimpsed a perfect reality, a realm of the gods of which our familiar world is but an imperfect reflection. 805. In Plato's famous parable of the cave, prisoners were imagined tied in such a way. 
that they saw only the shadows of passers-by, and they believed the shadows to be real, never guessing the complex reality that was accessible if they would but turn their heads. 806. The Pythagoreans would powerfully influence Plato and later Christianity. 807. The one benefit of jogging 30 minutes daily that most people are totally unaware of is that people who jog have a better outlook on life and are mentally a lot healthier. 808. Do we humans have any right to exterminate other creatures in the world with whom we share this earth? 809. The reason is not known why allergy to particular substances such as pollen, metal, or food, occurs in some people and not in others. 810. Guyana, a country on the northern coast of South America, has a tropical climate and unique surroundings, and approximately 8,000 species of plants occur in Guyana, half of which are found nowhere else. 811. There are people whose old pet passes away who choose to adopt a new pet, which is their way of replacing a loss with a gain. 812. Not all interesting discoveries have an obvious application, which is why there were many innovations that matched to a product which languished in labs for years. 813. The one trait of heroes who are truly magnificent that goes beyond all cultural boundaries is the willingness to risk one's life for the good of others. 814. Free competition, which was the watchword of 19th century liberalism, had undoubtedly much to be said in its favor. 815. It increased the wealth of nations, and it accelerated the transition from handicrafts to machine industry. It tended to remove artificial injustices and realized Napoleon's ideal of opening careers to talent. 816. It left, however, one great injustice untouched, the injustice due to unequal talents. 817. In a world of free competition, the man grows rich whom nature has made energetic and astute, while the man remains poor whose merits are of a less competitive kind. 818. The result is that the gentle and contemplative types remain without power, and that those who acquire power believe that their success is due to their virtues. 819. The underdog remains, therefore, without any champions possessing the kind of ability that leads to success. 820. Although competition has made many contributions to social progress, it remains true that an unfairness continues to persist that rewards only the naturally smart and aggressive individuals. 821. Some readers turn to history for adventure and escape. Others seek the lessons which they believe it will teach. 822. An electric car that its proponents hope will replace horse-drawn carriages in New York City's Central Park has been developed to satisfy those who say it's inhumane to have animals toiling in an urban environment. 823. The information technology explosion has enabled patients to become much more knowledgeable about medical matters than they used to be. So sometimes they form firm views about the treatment that they think is appropriate for their condition. 824. The baseball games we played with neighborhood kids on summer days that we thought would never end remain in my memory as some of the most magical moments of childhood. 825. A recent study shows that aging does not affect the amount of information that you expect you can absorb in a given period. And once you've learned it, you'll probably retain it as well as a younger person does. 826. You gradually become aware that you are a unique person with your own ideas and attitudes. To put it another way, you will find that you want to put your life together in the way that you think is best for you. 
8.27. There are a few things to keep in mind regarding the sources you use in your research. 8.28. Not all sources of information are reliable, so you should evaluate all of your sources of information and use only those that you think are dependable. 8.29. For example, if you are researching ways to make homes more energy efficient, a site written by the Government Department of Energy Management would be more reliable than a site written by a company that is trying to sell a new type of weatherproofing material. 8.30. Also, you should remember that research is always changing and consult the most current resources available to you. 8.31. Obviously, a 1985 resource about saving energy would not reflect the most recent findings. 8.32. Have you ever realized that some plastic bags we throw away today might be sitting on the earth after 400 years? 8.33. Champions aren't made in gyms. Champions are made from something they have deep inside them. A desire, a dream, a vision. 8.34. The most important single responsibility of the executive is to ensure harmony and happiness among the people he or she is responsible for. 8.35. One of the most severely limiting beliefs many of us have is that the person we were yesterday is the person we have to be today. This belief, that if we weren't successful yesterday, we can't be successful today, keeps us tied to our past mistakes and limitations. 836. Adolescence is considered to be the time teenagers go through biological development and, more importantly, form personal identities which can influence later life. 837. The reason we do not know very much about the earliest languages is that they were never written down. 838. We can't control the tragic things that happen to us, but we can control the way we face up to them. 839. The idea of competition has had a powerful influence on the way we think about our society and on the ways in which we conduct our own personal and business lives. 840. Bees retain information about the flowers they visit in order to find them again, but the cues they remember, such as odor, color, and pattern, are not remembered with equal weight. 841. For example, if a bee that has been trained to feed at a peppermint-scented blue triangular target is presented with a choice between an orange-scented blue triangular target and a peppermint-scented yellow circular target, it will inevitably choose the peppermint-scented target, even though that target has neither the color nor the shape the bee has been trained on. 842. It is only when two targets have the same odor that bees pay much attention to color or shape. Under those conditions, color takes precedence over shape. 843. This hierarchy corresponds to the relative reliability of the cues in nature. 844. The odor of a flower is usually constant, while color can fade or appear different under different lighting conditions and shape changes with damage from wind and herbivores, and even with viewing angle. 845. Since each chemical turns to gas at a different temperature, they will boil off one by one as the mixture that includes a variety of chemicals heats up. 846. Ever since cave dwellers used fire for heat and light, our quest for well-being has depended largely on our ability to utilize natural resources such as water, coal, petroleum, and electricity. 847. Some sport food advertising implies that since minerals are removed from your body by sporting activities, you need specific foods that have those nutrients. However, general recreational exercise 
does not deplete any nutrients enough to affect athletic ability or health. 848. Man's youth is a wonderful thing. It is so full of anguish and magic, and he never comes to know it as it is until it has gone from him forever. 849. As you grow and become a better person, your relationships should grow and improve as well, and in the same proportion. 850. The exact influence of culture will differ from person to person, as no two individuals from the same country, region, religion, socioeconomic class, gender, or generation will exhibit the same constellation of cultural behaviors. And attitudes. 851. Much as we resemble one another, we are none of us exactly alike. And I have seen no reason why I should not, so far as I could, choose my own course. 852. Unlike the modern society, the primitive society has less specialized knowledge to transmit. And since its way of life is enacted before the eyes of all, It has no need to create a separate institution of education, such as the school. 853. As you become a teenager, you may sometimes begin to question adults' ideas, instead of blindly accepting their ideas as you did when you were a small child. 854. Alvin Toffler's book, Future Shock, Has sold more than six million copies since it was first published in 1970. 855. But the key to thriving in the midst of all the chaos and change is to be aware of what is different and new. Work hard to have a positive attitude, adjust, and keep growing. 856. Indeed, as one sees more and more changes in the world, one may, like a traveler abroad, Become homesick for the way things used to be. 857. It introduced the term future shock to describe the perception a person can have of too much change happening too quickly. 858. In the book, Toffler examines the idea that rapid changes in technology and economic conditions create strange new living environments. 859. Proponents of the government economic policy argue the policy has played a central role in the country's economic success when the evidence to support this is thin. 860. Time pressure leads to frustration, and when we are frustrated or experience other negative emotions, our thinking becomes narrower and less creative. 861. Even while we are asleep, the body needs energy to fuel a multitude of complex functions required to keep us alive. 862. While most fruits and vegetables have dramatically different nutritional value depending on the form in which we eat them, the tomato retains its health benefits in any form. 863. It is quite clear that without microbes, life on Earth could not exist. While people tend to consider microbial activities only in terms of their primary effect on themselves, e.g., diseases, and their commercial enterprises, e.g., wine production. 864. By keeping less merchandise on hand, a strategy well suited to today's interconnected marketplace. Retailers avoid having to cut prices in case it doesn't sell. 865. It is helpful to keep the phone numbers of your destinations with you in case you get lost and need to call for directions. 866. If you take a closer look at your life, you may be able to find your life purpose. It could be as simple as raising a family, being a good friend, Or emotionally encouraging others. If your life purpose is not clear to you, it might be visible to others. 867. Police have removed litter baskets and benches from around the conference site in case any trouble should arise during the summit conference. 
868. A conversational clash can occur when Americans are speaking with people from other cultures. 869. American culture values small talk, while most Asians value silence, which might lead them to believe that Americans talk too much. 870. Although the American is not comfortable with long periods of silence in the conversation, the Asian will take time to answer. 871. This can carry over into the classroom, as the English learner from other cultures may be slower to answer for a multitude of reasons, such as processing the questions, thinking of how to translate, or cultural conversational style. 872. It is imperative that the teacher teaching students from Asian cultures allow more wait time and appear to be comfortable doing so. 873. In case the differing attitudes towards silence in Western and Asian cultures should come into play, American teachers working with students from Asian cultures may need to display more patience. 874. All new houses must now be built with proper building materials so that heat will not escape unnecessarily during the winter. 875. Men have struggled for power over their fellow men so that they might win the joys of the earth at the expense of others and might shift the burden of life from their own shoulders to those of others. 876. Perhaps intolerant people are so set in their ways that they find it easier to ignore anything that might not conform to their limited view of life. 877. Children should never be required to learn the name of anything in the nature study work, but the name should be used so often and so naturally in their presence that they will learn it without being conscious of the process. 878. Species are dying at such an unprecedented rate that more than half may disappear within our lifetime. 879. Human beings have unlimited wants, and resources available in nature which should be used to meet those human wants are limited. That is, there is never such a complete time that a human being is satisfied and not in need of anything. 880. Imagine your brain as a house filled with lights. Alzheimer's disease turns off the lights so that the flow of ideas, emotions, and memories from one room to the next slows and eventually ceases. 881. People who are very interested in keeping up with the latest fashion will not wear the clothes that they bought last year, even if they are still in perfect condition. 882. Even though it has become fashionable to view the differences between men's and women's minds as social in origin, the temptation to seek an explanation in terms of inborn differences between the sexes remains a powerful one. 883. Live as if you were living a second time, and as though you had acted wrongly the first time. 884. Any attempt by a government to restrict the freedom of the press is quickly and rightly condemned in a liberal democracy. 885. However, this freedom does not guarantee fair treatment for all. 886. Acting on the premise that it is in the interest of the public to know the facts, reporters can cause untold suffering to an individual by revealing certain private details about him or her. 887. The media wield such enormous influence that they can change the life of an ordinary citizen. They can make and break powerful governments. 888. Old age occurs the moment you realize there isn't something wonderful about to happen just around the corner. 889. The instant a child begins school, he or she enters a world of cruel competition. Where success and failure are clearly defined and measured. 890. Every time humans harm a small part of nature, 
A chain reaction is started that may have serious consequences over a long period of time. 891. Leaving ethical aspects aside, I doubt the validity of animal experimentation when it is assumed that animals' bodies respond to drugs the way human bodies do. 892. Once anger is in charge of our minds, good judgment flees and sometimes a kind of temporary madness results. 893. Now that knowledge matters more than ever, higher education is central to the growth strategy of most countries. 894. A scientifically minded person would think astrologers are wrong, seeing that their evidence can't be measured by scientific methodology, and that astrological papers have shown that astrology has no significant predictive value. 895. The various religions are like different roads converging on the same point. What difference does it make if we follow different routes, provided we arrive at the same destination? 896. Supposing we have a high sense of self confidence, we will set higher goals, be less afraid of failure, and persist longer when we encounter difficulties. 897. Assuming that social interactions involving children are made fairly and their opinions are respected, children can learn to build relationships of trust. 898. While there are more and more examples of positive practices relying on bioenergy, energy derived from photosynthesizing organisms, that can be brought to larger scale, we have hardly begun to build a sustainable and renewable bio based economy. 899. However, we could do that supposing we can find the means to harness photosynthesis as a source of renewable energy. 900. Understanding photosynthesis will offer a new strategy to convert solar energy into electrical energy in an environmentally friendly and renewable manner. 901. By using that energy, We can protect other vital services provided by the soils and aquatic systems that are so heavily impacted by our activities. 902. In other words, for a bio based economy to emerge, one that is fully integrated with ecosystems and what nature can provide indefinitely, we need not only soil, water, and nutrients, but also photosynthesis, the vast wisdom accumulated by plants. 903. As reading without discussion can fail to yield the full measure of understanding that should be sought, so discussion without the substance that good and great books afford is likely to degenerate into little more than an exchange of superficial opinions. 904. Cooperation is a duty only so long as government protects your honor, and non cooperation is an equal duty when the government, instead of protecting, Robs you of your honor. That is the doctrine of non cooperation. 905. No sooner had we learned a new idea or technique than another one came along and replaced or enhanced what we had learned. 906. Scarcely had Arthur Conan Doyle begun publishing Sherlock Holmes stories when an avid fan base sprang up, the beginning of an international following. 907. It seems reasonable to assume that it will not be long before a computer can interface directly with a human brain, producing artificial senses and reading the person's thoughts. 908. Remind yourself that getting interested in your job may double the amount of happiness you get out of life, for you spend about one half of your waking hours at work. 909. One of the greatest paradoxes we wrestle with is our own dark or shadow sides. 910. We often try to get rid of them, but the belief that we can banish dark sides is unrealistic and inauthentic. 
We need to find a balance between our own opposing aspects. 9.12. If we can see this balancing act as an experience as natural as night following day, we will find more contentment than if we try to pretend that night will never come. 9.13. Life has storms, but storms always pass. 9.14. Just as there has never been a day that did not give way to night, or a storm that lasted forever, so we move back and forth on the pendulum of life, the day and the night, the good and the bad, etc. 9.15. Whatever reading method is employed, real-life reading material is the best way to improve your reading skills. 9.16. Just because you are intelligent or have great knowledge does not mean you can think critically. Critical thinking is about how we use our intelligence and knowledge to reach objective and rational viewpoints. 9.17. Freedom-loving as we are, we must keep in mind that with freedom comes responsibility, lest what we hold so dearly should vanish. 9.18. Workers tend to be reluctant to ask employers to improve working conditions for fear that they should be ignored for promotion or even fired. 919. There is no one in our society who isn't ethnocentric to some degree, however liberal and open-minded he or she might be. 920. Wherever you go, whoever your ancestors were, whatever school or college you attended or whoever helps you, your best opportunity is in yourself. 921. If parents are always telling a kid that he is stupid, and then something happens to fit into that belief, such as getting an F on a test, he may think something like, they must be right. 922. Once it is fixed and becomes a pattern, then even when something comes along that contradicts it, such as getting an A, the kid may think something like, oh, that was just pure luck and forget about it. 9.23. So once that belief is fixed, whatever comes along, it confirms it. 9.24. Whatever comes along, those kids will still think they are stupid and act as if that is true. 9.25. The world then reacts to them accordingly, which, in turn, reinforces it. 926. A negative thinking cycle develops, which is what keeps children from recognizing their natural state. 927. The reason people find it so hard to be happy is that they always see the past as better than it was, the present worse than it is, and the future finer than it will be. 928. Researchers have suggested that maintaining good social relations depends on the complementary processes of being sensitive to the needs of others and being motivated to make amends or pay compensation when a violation does occur. 929. Unless we ensure to the enemies of freedom the liberties which they are keen to abuse, then we deny the essence of what we ultimately stand for and are therefore no better than those to whom we are opposed. 9.30 Whether I am a good son or daughter or not depends partly on the way in which I behave to my parents, but partly, and no less importantly, on the relationships I have with my siblings. 9.31 Make progress every day. We understand that life is not always about dramatic change, but more often about the small steps and achievements we make each day. 9.32 When your attention is not on the present moment, but on something else, you will tend to compare even good experiences with others, or you will wonder about future experiences instead of enjoying the present one, and regret past experiences because they are already over. 933. 
If we trivialize art and remove it from the core of a mainstream education, we not only deny our students full access to one of humankind's most profound experiences, but miss countless opportunities to improve their grasp of other subjects as well. 934. Mediation parallels advocacy insofar as it tends to involve a process of negotiation. But differs insofar as mediation involves adopting a neutral role between two opposing parties, rather than supporting the case of one party against another. 935. Initially, advertisements were entirely text, without illustration, and were typically written by the merchant himself. 936. But by the end of the 18th century, specialists in advertisement writing began to emerge, as did illustrations. 937. The advertisements were produced by people calling themselves advertising agents, because they not only wrote and illustrated the advertisements, but they also acted as sales agents for the media, selling advertising space to the merchants. 938. The underlying advertising methods, such as providing testimonials from satisfied customers, etc., have remained more or less unchanged because they are so effective. 939. Almost certainly the first advertising agent in Britain and in the world was William Taylor, who so described himself in an advertisement for his services in 1786. 940. The basic three part structure of the advertising industry in Britain, later to spread throughout the world, was thus established advertisers who bought space for their advertisements, media who sold the space, and agencies who were middlemen selling space on behalf of the media and creating advertisements for the advertisers. 941. If all mankind minus one were of one opinion, And only one person were of the contrary opinion. Mankind could be no more justified in silencing that one person than he, if he had the power, would be justified in silencing mankind. 942. How interested people are in their work, how much control they feel they have over their work, and how much support they feel they get from their employer are collectively 19 times more important. In predicting job satisfaction, than are their salaries. 943. Every man's work, whether it is literature or music or pictures or architecture or anything else, is always a portrait of himself. And the more he tries to conceal himself, the more clearly his character will appear in spite of himself. 944. The great use of school education is not so much to teach you things as to teach you the art of learning, so you can apply that art for yourself to any matter which you will face in later life. 945. Science consists not in the collection of varied facts any more than the random piling up of stones is architecture, but in the detection of the principles which mutually relate. Even the most dissimilar and abnormal facts to each other, and of the order which combines the parts into a whole. 946. In conversation, one is likely to find out certain things about another person, not so much from what that other person says, as from how he or she says it. For whenever we speak, we cannot avoid giving listeners clues about our origins and the sort of person we are. 947. A patent system may have been a stimulus to invention, but it was clearly not a necessary factor. 948. After all, many inventors were able to profit quickly enough to make the effort worthwhile, even if their inventions were soon imitated. 949. In a few cases, It is quite clear that financial incentives were not a major consideration for the inventor, who derived satisfaction from fame, solving a difficult problem, or even altruism.
950. However, such cases were unusual. The profit motive was probably as much of a motivator in invention as in any other economic activity, which is to say, it was almost always there, though it rarely operated entirely by itself. 951. Therefore, it is plausible that societies that rewarded invention were likely to have more of it, but that there may have been more than one way of rewarding innovators whose activities led to major gains in productivity. 952. Material incentives are no less present in stimulating invention than they are in encouraging other economic activities, but they are far from the only drivers of innovation. 953. It is when you are going through your most difficult experiences that you must draw on your ability to control your mind and have faith that the difficulty you face is simply part of the process that will inevitably bring you through to your goal. 954. Anybody who has been seriously engaged in scientific work of any kind realizes that over the entrance to the gates of the Temple of Science are written the words, You must have faith. 955. Such has been the effect of materialism that most of us tend to believe, rather uncritically, that wealth is a good thing and that the possession of it will increase our happiness. 956. If a work of art, whether a sculpture or a painting or a movie or a play, does not make us feel kinder, more generous, and morally better than we were before seeing it, then I should say that, no matter how clever, it does not belong to the highest form of art. 957. Humanity's growing freedom from superstition is the result of the conviction that the world is not governed by caprice, but that it is a world of order and can be understood if we will only try hard enough and be clever enough. 958. The dream of being independent masters of our lives ended when we began awakening to the fact that we have all become cogs in the bureaucratic machine, with our thoughts, feelings, and tastes manipulated by government and industry and the mass communication that they control. 959. Since people do not mean that there is an old man with a beard sitting in the clouds, when they claim that God exists, the fact that rockets and spaceships may comb every inch of the sky and not run into him is not going to show them that God does not exist. 960. Learned helplessness is based on the underlying conviction that there is no connection, no matter what you do or how much you try, between your personal actions or abilities and the outcome or result. A belief that it doesn't matter what I do, because it won't work anyway. 961. If you watch a toddler playing by herself, you'll see her pleasure as she experiments with whatever she discovers around her. 962. She's having fun as she finds a hiding place behind a curtain, makes noise with a pot lid, or climbs up onto a chair. 963. When you interrupt this natural urge to explore, discover, and try with comments like, leave it alone, put it down, or, no, that's so hard that you'll never be able to do it, she may become discouraged and dejected. 964. Soon she may start thinking, I won't be able to do this no matter how hard I try. And that's when learned helplessness starts. 965. Just as we appreciate warmth because we have experienced cold, so we appreciate what love means all the more because we know what it is to have the feeling of loneliness. 966. In The Interpretation of Dreams, published in 1900, Sigmund Freud suggested that dreams occur when feelings and ideas unacceptable to the individual threaten to disturb his sleep. 967. 
Since a basic vocabulary of 2,000 words, the core vocabulary, plays such an important role in English, some people have suggested that acquiring it will allow you to understand 80% or 90% of everything that you hear or read in English. 968. According to Aristotle, tragedy is higher and more philosophical than history because history simply relates what has happened. While tragedy dramatizes what may happen, what is possible according to the law of probability or necessity. 969. The more one learns, the easier things become, so that no matter how little ability a man has, it is not impossible for him to do anything if he is but diligent. 970. In fact, there is so much salt in the seas of the world that if it were possible to remove the salt and spread it over, for example, the United States, some people believe it would form a layer a mile thick. 971. Though some people have felt that only the lonely play with imaginary playmates, the research makes it very evident that it is often the highly superior and imaginative child who invents these creatures. 972. Many writers have suggested that the reason why the same themes and motifs appear throughout the myths and folktales of the entire world is that somehow all the myths and legends were simply attempts to explain and to dramatize natural phenomena familiar to all mankind. 973. The enemy of learning is knowing since knowing means that you will not be looking at the assumptions that exist behind what you think and know, which means that the thinking process leading to knowing may never be revisited. 974. There was a small business owner who could never afford to offer his employees health care benefits. 975. This was not typically a problem, because most of the employees accessed health care through their working spouses. 976. However, tragedy struck one year when two of his most productive employees were stricken with life-threatening illnesses. They each, obviously, had to miss work. 977. With productivity gone and the business hurting, he chose to give the employees the only portion of their salary he could afford. 978. The business operated at a loss that year, but when the two individuals overcame their life-threatening illnesses, he found that their newfound loyalty reaped a new set of rewards, as they told their stories of a business owner who cares about much more than a profit. 979. One thing I know is that the only ones among you who will be really happy are those who will have sought and found how to serve. 980. The perception of Afghanistan as a country where women have no freedom was reinforced under the rule of the Taliban, which ended in 2001, when girls and women were banned from education, employment, and sports, and could be beaten in public for not wearing a burqa. 981. The public has a rather ambivalent attitude towards science. It has come to expect the steady increase in the standard of living that new developments in science and technology have brought to continue. But it also distrusts science because it has no clear understanding of science. 982. Every man who knows how to read has it in his power to magnify himself, to multiply the ways in which he exists, to make his life full, significant, and interesting. 983. The person who commits one criminal act, perhaps on a sudden impulse, must be regarded by society as a different person from the habitual criminal who has made a profession of crime. 984. You can get away from envy by enjoying the pleasures that come your way, by doing the work that you have to do, and by avoiding comparisons with those whom you imagine, perhaps quite falsely, 
to be more fortunate than yourself. 985. Online, we can hang out in chat rooms with like minded souls, join social networks that reflect our beliefs and interests, and even read news blogs that reflect our individual ideologies and views of the world. That is, groups are now formed less on shared activities and more on shared ideologies. 986. The conception of the function of education is dependent on the nature of the society in which it plays its role and is determined by the philosophy which governs relations between the individual and the community. 987. Despite the importance that most people place on them these days and the amazing things that they can do, computers are nothing more than machines that follow our instructions. 988. It is a grave mistake, therefore, to think that a computer might be able to give advice or provide a judgment on an important issue for which we ourselves have no clear guidelines. 989. There is, however, one field in which computers will always perform infinitely better than us the field of memory and recollection. 990. One song can transport you to that wonderful holiday, that perfect relationship, that great night out, or any time when you are in a situation where you are happy. 991. An economist is an expert who will know tomorrow why the things he or she predicted yesterday didn't happen today. 992. The people who get on in this world are the people who get up and look for the circumstances they want, and if they cannot find them, make them. 993. Unless an actor speaks and moves in the manner in which the imaginary character, whose part he or she is playing, would do, the story will not be clearly communicated to the audience. 994. When I entered the museum, the first thing that caught my eyes was a colorful painting which consisted of traditional patterns that were illustrated with geometric figures. 995. Studies of people who survived traumatic events, such as natural disasters that destroyed their homes, found that those people who suffered the most loss of comfort were actually calmer. And more resolute than the people who had suffered inconvenience but minimal loss. 996. One school of modern economic theory argues that people give to charities in part because of the pleasure they get, either from imagining the relief of those they benefit, or from their own relief from alleviating their sympathetic distress. 997. In our modern society, we need to train a sufficient number of people who possess the technical skill that is required to maintain and develop the numerous devices upon which our convenience depends. 998. Confirmation bias is a term for the way the mind systematically avoids confronting contradiction by overvaluing evidence that confirms what we already think or feel and undervaluing. Or simply disregarding evidence that refutes it. 999. One indisputable sign that distinguishes true art from counterfeit is the infectiousness of art. 1000. If a man, without any effort on his own part, and without any change in his situation, having read, heard, or seen a work by another man, Experiences a state of mind which unites him with this man and with others who perceive the object in the same way as he does, then the object which calls up such a state is an object of art. 1001. However poetic, realistic, impressive, or diverting an object is, it is not an object of art unless it calls up in a man that feeling, utterly distinct from all other feelings, Of joy, of spiritual union with another, the author, and with others, listeners or spectators, who perceive the same artistic work.